All right, guys, it's time. Sigmar bless this ravaged stream today, guys. We're going in once again with the Carl Franz campaign. So I was going to be doing ECL today, but I had some uh, scheduling stuff coming up, some players. So I wanted to make sure they could play. So we're going to be switching it to tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Good to see new faces, familiar faces, but we are back with Carl Franz's glorious campaign. Let's uh, do a bit of a recap. So things got really wild in the last one. We uh, actually were finally able to take out the uh, Lalaurin Forest up here, and that was like probably one of the most brutal battles we've had in quite some time. So we had to uh, fight that battle. We almost lost everything, but we were able to win, which was, uh, it was intense. It was very intense. I know a lot of you guys just, um, Aram, I did not ignore your question. Uh, just message me in Discord after the stream and I'll give you the details on that. And I'll be posting links to Discord over the course of the stream, so. No stress, no stress. Classic Flight of the Death Claws, yeah. Yeah, fair play. All right, so. Basically, guys, we conquered the forest here, but there's still just some random, like, haggard-ass beastman army outside, which, when we get a good garrison here, eventually, maybe we'll, like, surge out and fight them. I mean, I guess we could if we want to, but eventually an army will go up there to kind of clean that up. Granted, it is causing some issues with chaos corruption, but we do also have a Shrine of Sigmar here now, so, like, it's kind of weird to have, like, a Temple of Sigmar set up in the forest, right? But anyways, <clears throat> so that's going pretty well up here. We do have that province secured over here in the eastern reaches of, uh, reaches of our map. Uh, Electric Count Italian Spartacus was able to uh, defeat the first vanguard of chaos in the form of Malefex Blood Drencher or Wrencher here. So basically, we're going to be chasing him down, finishing him off with Italian Spartacus. In the meantime, uh, Karl Franz is rebuilding his army, as is Volkmar the Grim. They're both pretty juiced up here, for sure. So their armies are going to be ready relatively soon, and they can move north and help deal with chaos as well. Granted, we might need to send one of them south because the Skaven, Clan Scryer, is still actually quite strong. If we look at Clan Scryer here, you can see they're still strength rank 11, even though we took Ikit Claw to town. Like, we beat the brakes off Ikit Claw, we, like, wiped his army, but somehow they're still strength rank, rank 11. They have, like, a ton of, like, powerful stacks. <clears throat> so, we need to take those guys out. Certainly going to be one of our main missions here. And, uh, and yeah, that is that. We'll see how this goes. Uh, the Vortex campaign for Marcus Wolfhart will be going up in the next couple days. Yes. Yes, yes. For uh, Marcus Wolfhart. So guys, that's pretty much it. Balthazar Gelt, we pretty much ended on this note, because you can see here down, uh, Paravon is under heavy siege. There's two full stacks, and they're not like crappy stacks. They seem to be pretty powerful as well. So I'm kind of on the fence if I want to go down there with Gelt or not. Now, as far as like recruiting ROR's, or Electric Count State Troops, I mean, I don't really have any in the pool except the Mortar. My army's pretty good against Skaven. I mean, I have artillery pieces to snipe their warp lightning cannons. I have the uh, Hellstorm rocket batteries to kill their infantry and Zemberg of Knights to deal with flares. I mean, it's pretty strong pound for pound. And a lot of times these Skaven stacks do have like clan rats and Skaven slaves really buffering them out. So the problem is, is I can't reach the garrison without... I don't want to settle this because it'll colonize my army. And my knights are a little bit beat up here as well. Scary situation for sure. <laughs> Every time Turin mentions Spartacus, I think, holy crap, this is a multiplayer campaign. No, no, it's not, unfortunately. I would love to, but... Uh, all right, so that is uh, pretty much it there. Franz is recruiting. Volkmar the Grim is just uh, finalizing his army with a couple of great swords. And then over here, Elector Count Spartacus has dealt with a chaos threat over here in the mountains. And aside from that, we are going to be sending our new kind of, uh, I think, the Hertwigans to go uh, capture these territories here and uh, kind of re-secure them for the Empire, so... And actually, Kislev is a victory condition, like owning that, so getting that is going to be quite useful. Uh, speaking of Total War Troy, yeah, I'm excited for it. I mean, you know, I don't want to draw any conclusions until I see, like, gameplay and get my hands on it myself, but yeah, it should be fun. All right, so now we got to decide what to do with Gelt. There are, you know, several threats down here, including these bad boys, so we might need to actually... Grungzint, yeah, eventually Bretonia will have to pay the troll toll for sure. They, they've, like, kind of nested in our territories a little bit. Montfort is not colonized by rats because I actually cleaned it out, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, yeah, I, I want to make my way down here. If we do get attacked in open field, it will relatively suck. Let's see, how far could they... Yeah, only one of them can make it up here, I think. Hmm. It's a bit of a tough decision. Yeah, and they have an agent up here, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I... I last turn, I freaking... Well, we can always run back to the city up in the hills there. Yeah, you can see it's uh, it's not, so. We can go into Ambush Dance now, it's fine. We'll just do that. How much further can we get? So 25%, let's just go here. Go into Ambush Dance. I don't know, it's a little bit risky, but we'll see what happens. All right, so that's gonna be turn. 
So, uh, Mr. Nerevar, you have not missed much. We are delving headfirst into the Empire here. Balthazar Gel, our warden in the south, has been pretty busy dealing with our rat infestations, which have been fun. But aside from that, things are, I wouldn't say calm, because we do have a chaos invasion in the north, but it's a little bit of a limp noodle chaos invasion. It doesn't seem like the big, you know, the big thick one. And Tamantan, yes, it is steel faith and gunpowder time. Welcome to the stream, brother. All is good here. And yeah, I don't know who will send. Yes, we caught one of those filthy rat armies in an ambush. Now, this auto resolve is pretty generous, for sure. You know, as a matter of fact, I think we'll just do it. I mean, I guess we could just Shrek this army with our artillery, too. I mean, let's just auto resolve that. That's fine. Yeah, we didn't lose anything in full. That's probably fine. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll take them out. So, pretty successful ambush there. Now we just need to go alleviate it. So, the ambush play did work because the rats obviously thought they could come take care of Ziflin. Balthazar Gout, who would have thought that him and his metal legion could hide in open field? Sector well, the Imperishable. He's, he's part of the new, like, kind of bro squad here. Uh, defensive Alliance, I'm sure, that's fine, dude. Let's do it. We are strength rank 5. We're getting up there in the world. Gelt just absolutely slapping up some of those filthy rats, just karate chopping them right across the neck. You guys remember the 90s, like, when in Steven Seagal movies, how he'll, like, always, like, break the wrist or, like, karate chop the neck? That was totally one of the Seagal chops. Uh, Jonathan McBride asked, Turin, with the Empire rework, how do you get the AI to accept peace, considering that ending up at war often uh, breaks treaties? Um, it doesn't... I mean, are you talking about fellow Empire nations? Or are you talking about just, like, general diplomacy? So Chaos here being annoying as usual with their agents just running about. Hopefully somebody will eventually get him. Because I don't feel like sending a Witch Hunter after him. Demon Tamer. Hmm. Doesn't sound possible. <laughs> the, golden, the golden cheese trap. I like that. He is, he is our little golden cheese trap, isn't he? There's just a rats being... That's like 300 when Leonidas, like, when it shows the child being thrown off. It's just some scaven. Yeah. Sneaky Empire Forces. Graybeard's Prospectors, who are you guys at war with? Jesus, you guys have a lot of enemies. No, I mean, we don't... I don't know. We're just... They're so, so like, out of our way that it's not even worth... Because if we buddy up with them, it, it'll... You know, the, the dwarves and other factions won't like that, so... Since they're at war. The Golden Cheese Trap coming. All day, every day. Alright, so let's see what happens here. The Chaos Invasion still still underway. We have a Chaos Army in the hills being quite annoying. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Electric Count Spartacus can catch it. Because Chaos is spreading into the land's corruption. Uh, we'll definitely take the Imperial Authority, because that is quite nice to get out of there. Alright, so it looks like some Asian actions. Purge the Foul, so we get the uh, buffs against Skaven a little bit late. Alright, so the Chaos Army is just hanging out. We should be able to go crump them pretty good here. All right, so let's go deal with this chaos filth here as they run a little bit further into the mountains, but we will hunt them. Uh, you know what? We can fight this. Let's see, because I want to use the Emperor's Wrath steam tank. That's a grudgeon. You know what? It's definitely not a grudgeon because I am like best friends with the dwarves. Like High King Thorgrim approves, and if he approves, then I don't think anything else really matters as it pertains to uh, <laughs> the Dwarven Empire, right? So Jonathan says, I want to confederate Midland, but even after completely destroying their everything, Boris won't accept peace because of how much he hates me due to broken treaties. So the broken treaties thing will pass over time. And honestly, you, if you have extra prestige, just make sure you keep like enough to stop rebellions and stuff. You can, uh, you can like, you know, get Boris to like you if you want. I actually saved Boris for last myself. Like Boris, he just did not come to heal. He was like, just no matter what I did, like I gave him territories back. I was like helping him and he just would not, you know, he would just not be part of the team. The Emperor's Wrath team tank is here. And uh, we'll get our cav. we get our cav here as well. So Jemmy's can go there. You guys go here. Pistoliers go here. And I'm just doing this to uh, so I don't lose like random great sword units and auto resolves. Start deployment. Oh, got a hot group our guys. So they stay together. Let's move you guys out here. The Emperor's Wrath meme tank will shoot in there. Demogriff Knights go up here. And let's get our cav going here. Pistoliers here. And the mortars can basically just shoot into these. I don't think they have any chosen in the stack. Yeah. Mortar's doing good. You know, I feel like the meme tank's better suited in melee combat, believe it or not. It's just, it's just, uh, it's so, so juicy there. Our main force is going to be relocating. You can see if we can catch these guys off guard. Let's get this single chariot. Alright, so, it's like these chariots, these chariots are really aggressive at, like, charging your stuff. You wouldn't think they would be. 
Seems, seems like milk was a bad choice. All right, this lone chaos chariot's good to be going down here to the wrath of our imperial demographic knights. Uh, we'll shoot the meme tank just point blank here. And is that chariot done? How is that chariot not getting finished? My goodness. All right, so let's get you guys kind of peppering that one down. Okay, looks like we finished it, which is good. Great. And we do have a chariot coming in here, but hopefully our powder will be able to finish that off. So let's get our character as well. Demi's back. Meme tank. Shoot if you want. Get you guys kind of going here. Looks like they're about polished off and good. So we've dealt with those guys. So we'll square up like this. The mortar. Oh, I forgot our mortar is like way out of position over here. Well, anyways, let's get the meme tank running into these guys. The rest of the army can actually just surge forward and deal with these guys if we want to. Pull you guys back. Let's pull some great swords over here as well. We get the arch lecture leading that charge in there. And the hand gunners can just start blasting these guys into oblivion. Meme tank, let's go ahead and pop the uh, steam. Okay, so yeah, it just kind of does like a steam blast. That's kind of cool. All right, demis, let's go ahead and just charge these freebies right here. While we can, warrior priest. Electro Count Spartacus, lead the charge. The great sword should be able to crump those guys. Let's get you guys going around here. Let's set you guys up back here. And the demis should, be, again, be able to really clean up shop here. Do we have any, like, offensive magic here on this character? Not not quite yet. By Ulrich's Wrath. All right, well, Ulrich's pretty, uh, he's a pretty pissed off dude. Shoot there. Hand gunners and company are moving. Dropping Earthblood here because that's, like, the main conflict. Have you guys chase? I don't think it really matters because we're chasing them in a retreating stance, so we don't need to chase things off, but... Yeah, it's okay. Great swords are piling in. Demogriff Knight's pulling back. Mortar can shoot into the blob because it doesn't do friendly fire damage, which is quite spicy. Let's awaken some wood! My favorite Empire unit, probably Great Swords. Like, Great Swords and Demogriff Knights, like, are just so cool. Yeah, there's something about just, like, average men wielding these big, badass Great Swords and just going fist to cuffs with, like, you know, freaking werewolves. And Although we did let the Emperor's Wrath meme tank take a ton of damage from the Halberds. I, I kind of, I guess I overestimated its power. I overestimated the power of Sigma. Let's shoot these Halberds. Come on, Meme Tank, get out of here. We'll have an Earth for you, the Meme Tank, here in a second. There we go. All right. Let's do our little Steam Blast here. Our Hand Gunners are just going to unleash a Hellish Shalvo here on these Halberds. We'll slow them with Awakening of the Wood. The Wood shall be awakened once more. And there they go. That should be Army Losses. I feel like Army Losses doesn't come as easily as it used to. Demis can get in there and help out as well. We'll pull these uh, Tattered Great Swords back. Let me get you guys going across. So, let's grind that Chaos Lord to dust here. Cool. What's going on, Jonathan McBride? Yeah, Great Swords and Demogriff Knights are probably my favorite unit. I really actually, from a multiplayer perspective, I'm a huge fan of the new Huntsmen. Huntsmen, I think, are really good in a ton of matchups. Hey, we got Armando in here too, man. It's a full house. It is a full house indeed. So Elector Count Spartacus has drawn first blood, or second blood, I should say, against the Warriors of Chaos. He's taken those foul beasts out. And uh, yeah, now we can get to work resecuring the northern provinces and just kind of hang tight until Chaos invades once more. I feel like there's like... For those of you guys that are really savvy in campaign, like, isn't there a, a bigger Chaos invasion that should be coming soon? <laughs> Alex Draco, sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right. So, Malefex Blood Wrencher is dealt with once and for all. We will execute the captives because suffer not the heretic to live here. And uh, then from there, we can get him back into the city. You can go and march dance, actually. Oh, look, they both leveled up. That's cool. All right, so unfortunately, most of his buffs are for flagellants, which, uh, you know, is a little bit crappy, but we're going to get Quartermaster. I mean, do we really need Quartermaster, though? That's kind of foolish. Yeah, because I, I guess we'll just get it. It allows us to get more armies in the end anyways, right? So the fort, let's colonize it. Boom, colonized. Let's rebuild. And then he'll head north up to Kislev the next turn and get that. And then our haggard wizard here has leveled up as well. So we'll go ahead and start working towards regrowth, which is good. We have a lot of money. So, I mean, we, we basically want to check through our territories right now and make sure there's nothing like... I'm pretty sure we've upgraded most things. Maybe like our, our landscape up here isn't as developed. So let's get walls here. Let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade Karaberg. Let's upgrade the walls. And let's get you guys going as well. So just upgrading everything, basically. Chaos Corruption up in these lands is going to be significant, I think, eventually. So yeah, once we get the chance, we'll upgrade that. Lawlorn Forest here. Let's let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. How's the garrison there? Man, yeah, still pretty wimpy. All right, so Geltz was able to smite the rats. And now it's time for Geltz to go lift the siege. Are you? Yeah, we can, we can just... I am a supreme patriarch. Oh, it's Ike Claw back with like a full stack once more. All right, so we'll we'll fight the battle here. That's fine. Man, Ike Claw just does not go down quietly. He's just a angry rat. 
Turn, what do you think of the number of missile infantry units people normally bring for multiplayer battles with a defensive build? What do you think the number? Okay, so a number probably honestly is like between two and four. It depends. It, it, it's it's super. That question is super matchup specific. So if you're playing in a matchup in which you're playing against a slow faction, you can get away with a lot more. But if you're playing like against like Beastmen or Chaos, it's really risky to kind of overload on missiles. Uh, quick. So Alex Draco asked for a quick faction multiplayer tier list. Uh, top tier is probably Dark Elves. Hmm, Dark Elves. I don't know. I, I actually, you know, my personal opinion, I don't think Vampire Coast is like top tier anymore, believe it or not. Like, I, I feel like they're just in kind of a hard place right now. Um, Dark Elves are definitely top tier. I think uh, I think Empire's up there now. They have like, they have so many good options. Um, the Warrior Priest can ride with the, uh, the Demogriff Knights. Actually, we'll have two groups here. I don't know. I'd have to. That's actually kind of a hard question now. So let me let me think about that and get back to you, brother. Tier list, huh? Hmm. So demis are going to be sweeping through, kind of uh, dealing with the uh, the flares and things like that. Five. We have a, a gold chevron hellblaster and a cannon of our own here, which can shoot at a lot of good targets. We do have to worry about summon rats, so we should probably just grab some great swords and just like slap them in the back here. Although we do have reinforcements coming, who can pretty much shoot that purpose. Start deployment. Start battle. And these walking wounded can probably honestly just be lurking in the back. Yeah, we forgot to move some huntsmen up there. It's okay. So the Hellstorms, we want to make sure they're shooting like storm vermin and, and sensor bearers and things like that. So yeah, perfect. And then the Hellblaster will be in range relatively soon to start shooting. The Greatsword Core. We were in the same situation earlier where we couldn't quite get our reinforcements up there fast enough. So let's see if we can like just charge over there like ASAP. Because it's much better to use the garrison stuff if you can. Let's get the uh, crossbows back here as well. All right, great. So yeah, we're getting some pretty good damage for sure. We could be charging in with our knights, but we're just gonna keep them in the back because they're very, very wounded. Three and four, and good, we have an Empire Captain as well. That's nice, we'll just kind of slap him in the front line. And the Hellblaster is shooting as well, so we can just start shooting at Stormworm with Halberds, and the cannons can just shoot in at Doom Players, that should be fine. All right, so the first of the rats have been summoned in our lines, so we'll send in our knights to kind of buckle those guys off. We'll get some uh, demis back there. Balthazar Gelt actually has Final Chance Mutation now, which is really, really cool. So that's going to be a pretty big boon for us. And let's get these Empire Knights riding over here and get the rest of you guys just kind of like bro charging forward to intercept. All right, so it looks like there's going to be a little bit of a... Oh, that's Brass Orb. Okay, that's fine. So the first players are coming in. So basically, we, that's why we have Demogriff Knights kind of spread out amongst our formation. Oh, that's actually a Doom Wheel. All right, so he's got a little bit of a little bit of something, something coming in. So let's get you guys going. Go intercept here. The uh, Hellstrom rocket batteries can just start shooting into some of these other targets. So let's get you them shooting into those guys and get one shooting here as well. Huntsman on the high ground can shoot into the uh, those guys just on top of that and good. So yeah, get you guys surging in here. You guys surging in. We don't have to be like too too tactical about it, I don't think. Yeah, great. All right, so Demogriff Knights are taking a bit of a pounding here. So let's get the Greatswords kind of charging down the hill. Get you guys going here. Get you guys going here. Wow, those that Doom Wheel is really doing good. I mean, this guy might have a nuke too. We have to be aware of that. All right, so let's go ahead and get some magic going. Golden Hounds of Gehennis can go over here. Huntsman and company, Demogriff Knights can pull in to uh, help out with those flares. Great, so let's just kind of like push past as much as we can with these guys and just kind of like see if we can get into that juicy, juicy back line. Great, Hellstorm Rocket Battery, or the Hellblaster Volley Gun, excuse me, can go after these guys. Warrior Priest is probably needed over here in these lines. Huntsman, let's pull you guys back. And we should be able to take these guys out here. Balthazar Gelt might want to drop a Final Transmutation right here just to like actually melt those guys. Great. All right, so we're getting into the cookie jar pretty good. Our cannon doesn't have the best line of sight, but we can just shoot at those guys for now. Empire Knights are just haggardly battling here, and we have a lot of blobbed up troops. Let's pull you guys back like this and get them up and around through there. And Huntsman just keep shooting in at the rats. Yeah, looks good. Golden Hounds, let's pop you guys right there as well. Yeah, Golden Hounds, I always forget. You can't like do right on top of yourself. Huntsman, let's get you guys back. Great swords, just pop in there. Do your thing. And eventually we'll wear these guys down. Yeah, we just need to get rid of the flares. That's the big thing. All right, some demis in the back are online here, so let's get them on those chazales. What are these, storm vermin? All right, so we can have the great swords fight here, and we need to finish off that doom wheel for sure, 100%. Warrior priest and company, let's pop hammer sigmar to buff up some of those great swords, which is a uh, you know a pretty tough fight actually. You guys moving in? Crossbowmen can set back here. Let's get you guys going back here. Huntsmen just keep blasting in. Actually, we might have to shoot this freaking doom wheel, which keeps escaping us. Uh, we can final transit actually. That might actually be enough to finish it off. And damn, we still haven't finished this, these, these freaking these guys back here off, huh? All right, great. So state troops, just keep moving forward. We need to get you guys up onto the uh, flares in the back there. Or block Gisales. We're closing the distance there. Halberds and just the big ugly blob of our uh, reinforcing troops are doing their thing. And I have to remember this is Ikit Claw's army, so there's going to be a lot of buffs and like you know goodies in that force. Demogriff Knights, let's pull you guys back because we don't need you guys going 
fighting over there. Golden Hounds of Gehennis can be popped over here. And we need to get you back up on this freaking Wheel of Doom here. Alright, let's pull you guys back. Do we have any knights that can help out here? Nicky Claw's fighting great swords. Warrior Priest can help out as well. Great, so the back line's buckling. We have taken some pretty heavy casualties. It's, it's you know, his army is pretty good. I mean, he had a lot of chevrons and probably abilities that make him much stronger. All right, dummies, go here. Stroke that Forbidden Rod once again. Shoot this wheel here. And great. Thicket here is, uh, you know, paying the, paying the toll. Although now we need to actually, like, punish him a little bit. Yeah, so whatever I can chase down, we should. We want to chase things down. If we can. Knight's mobility. Yeah, we have some mobility back here that can chase. We don't want to kill like it, because I'm pretty sure that gives him like another free move. Yeah, I know. I think he might have nuked me, like at some point. I don't know. I didn't I didn't notice it, but if he did, it certainly uh certainly could have been bad. So we'll fast forward here as we chase down these forces. Our demographic knights really took a pounding though, Jesus. That was that was ugly. Yeah, we want to get those storm vermin, we want to get those halberds. Because we will have to chase him without the garrison, is the thing. Death Globe Bombardiers. Icky Claw's going to get away, which is fine. At least he's damaged now. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. I'll let you know, Armando. I, I, I want to eventually start an Empire Army in Warhammer Fantasy. So I think maybe, you know, getting Karl Franz, having you paint up a Karl Franz would be pretty badass. Because you can still get the model and everything from Games Workshop, so. Lizardmen got amazing content last DLCs. I think that in multiplayer, Nakai and Gorok are suboptimal. In campaign, they're great. Uh, the Croxagore Ancient plus Slons are just so much better. And Scar Veterans on uh, on Carnosaurs is my opinion, yeah. And I think the Empire got like the better multiplayer stuff. Granted, the Boxagores like, in multiplayer are pretty good. I've had success with them in a couple matchups. All right, so we took some casualties, but we didn't fully lose. Yeah, we did fully lose one Demogriff Knight, which is unfortunate, but we can, of course, do global recruitment and things like that, so. All right, so the rat is here. Okay, whoa, why are we going all the way down to Kemri? So the rat has been dealt with. A little bit of sloppy control from my part. We'll get final transmutation once again. And uh, yeah, this army's pretty tattered. Can we catch him? We actually can. <laughs> can we win that fight is the question. I think we can with artillery and magic, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna smite this rat once and for all. I can just sit back and use my artillery and then if anything gets close, I can use my healthy demographic knights to chase things down. And I don't think AI clan scar builds more nukes, so you probably won't have to worry. All right, that's good. Well, honestly, they nuked me twice in this campaign so far. So um, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, Luke, I'm waiting for the New Cities book, correct. I do, because I love playing 40k, but, like, I want to play with an Empire Army and, yeah, and Fantasy. So, like, I don't like the Sigmarines, really. So these guys are going to be walking wounded, because they're literally just, like, beat to, beat to hell. Uh, we're going to get our Huntsmen here and just, like, skirmish a little bit with them. Well, the Hellstorms, the Hellstorms and the Artillery alone could probably win this, but... We'll get Geltz and his little goon squad. They can have a Demogriff Knight with them, and the rest of you guys can just be, like, on guard duty back here. All right, so start deployment. Start battle. Stroke that Forbidden Rod. Let's go snipe these uh, Gisales out. Yeah, the Hellstorms, the Hellstorms are really going to shrek these guys pretty good. Cannons can go after Ickit Claw. Hellstorms in, in campaign are really good, actually. Like, I, I never really understood that. And, you know, I, I was making lists, right, of, like, the worst units and things like that. But I guess, like, a lot of people always were like, oh, they're not bad. And, you know, they are really bad in multiplayer. But in, uh, in you know, in this format, they're, they're pretty decent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get guilt. And we're going to let the AI blob up on him a little bit. So let's pull you guys back. And then we're going to use a big overcasted final transmutation. Just like multiplayer. It's going to be great. How's Gelt doing in here? Is he pimping it? Alright, so let's go ahead and do this like this. You guys shoot here. Demogriff Knight's just hanging out. We gotta juke those shots. There have been some rat summons in the back. There's a little bit of a rat infestation, so we should be able to clean up the clan rats with our, our cab back here. That didn't go quite as well as I thought it would, actually. Anyways, Huntsman, keep shooting. Let's have you shoot the Doom players. <laughs> Gelt's just running around, just, just cackling and Wizard. However Wizard's laugh is how he's laughing right now. 
Eh, that wasn't bad. Alright, let's go here. Let's get Gelt going there as well. Hellstorm's a little bit mucked up, but we should be able to clear the rats off with our uh, our supporting elements. So, yeah, okay. Get back on there! I can't click it! Ah! Curses! Alright, Demis. Let's have you guys hammer those storm vermin down. Hellblaster, shoot there. I don't know why you're not shooting. Oh, Hicket Claw just took a cannonball to the face! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Hicket just got removed! Oh my god, there's so many rats back here. There's just like a random flare. Alright, that should be it. Hicket Claw just took a, a freaking cannonball to the face. Did you guys see that? I just saw him running. He's like, ee! <laughs> oh man, that was great. Okay. That was fun. So, my friends, we've dealt with we've dealt with the foul monstrosity here. Ikit Claw has paid the troll toll. And yeah, if somebody could link uh, the Discord. If, if nobody links you the Discord, I'll do it uh, towards the end of the stream. I'm sure there's... It is Friday afternoon. People are busy and stuff, so I don't know if there's any uh, any mods around. Lady Turin can do it, I'm sure. My lovely wife. All right, so I didn't lose anything in full. Auto-resolve, I would have lost, like, everything, probably. Um, which is pretty ridiculous, but Ikit Claw has been smited once again. The rat has been dealt with. And, uh, you know, we're just moving along. Balthazar, Gelt, and company just hunting rats as they do. You are the Supreme Patriarch, dude, and you've done a supreme job down here, man. So let's get you in the Paravon. We'll resettle this city relatively soon, although I'm sure it's going to get, like, sniped and just be super annoying. Paravon and... Oh my god, is there another Scryer army here? How strong are they right now? Okay, so now they're strength rank 67. We should have kind of put them in a bit of a can. Now Franz is upgrading this turn, and I think Volkmar the Grim is doing his final upgrades as well. Electro Count Spartacus has successfully dealt with a threat in the mountains up here. Yeah, he's just gonna be healing. I mean we can we can actually just head down here. There's no point in like sitting up there. And uh, as far as this goes. What do we want to do? We have those two nice upgrades there. I guess we could start getting artillery upgrades. Vigor loss for cav units is okay. Missile damage for artillery isn't bad. Hmm. <laughs> what does this one do when I get it fully upgraded? Recruitment duration for steam tanks, war wagons. Just, yeah, okay, so I'll just... You know what? We'll just... uh. We'll get the charge bonus for Cav. We'll just kind of iron out that tree. That'll be fine. We have a level up from Gelt, who's just the absolute man of the hour. We'll get the Winds of Magic Power Reserve. And his Warrior Priest is leveled up as well. And his Warrior Priest is basically just going to be, uh, yeah, Replenish Troops is really good. Pass. Ikit Claw got taken out pretty hard, guys. Why can't Empire have dual wielding free company like Sartosa? Yeah, they're pretty cool. But I mean, I, I actually personally like the free company for the Empire more because I think having a pistol and a sword is pretty heavy metal, you know? But uh, that's just my two cents. And we have a donation from Mr. Purcell right at the beginning of the stream, coming in for $10. So, uh, Gerard, thank you so much for that very generous donation. My, my apologies for missing it in the beginning of the stream. I was probably setting up and everything, so. What is your opin uh, opinion on Legend of Total War as a player? You know, I haven't seen him play like a lot of battles, so I can't really give you an opinion, but I mean, for someone who's played as long as he has, I'm sure he's good. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't he be? Oh, And he's, he clearly has a lot of knowledge about campaign, so I'm sure he's a pretty well-rounded player, for sure. All right, so we move forward boldly into the night. The foul enemies of the Empire being dispatched one at a time here. And honestly, like, I don't really think we're that far from victory in this campaign. I think we're, like, probably, like, 40 or 50 turns. Okay, so Chaos is trolling. Failure. This, this like, is, like, the worst Chaos agent ever. You just can't do anything right. So, we'll go up north and uh, re-establish the Kislev territories. I mean, they lost a huge chunk. I mean, I don't know if it was that one army or if there's more armies, but... A non-aggression pact with Nordland? That's fine, yeah. We'll even include 100 gold. Because Nordland eventually we can confederate. I think we have 10 failty with them, so I think we're good there. <laughs> Thank you, Alex Jones. Clergy of Sigmar is great. Okay, I'll take a look at that. It's in the top left of the tree. We will find out... 
Yeah, Elector Count Spartacus, I mean, I could replace his army with Flagellants and, like, tech him that direction, but honestly, I think his army's pretty solid. I mean, it's kind of a waste, probably. I should have given it to, like, you know, a character that's more of a generalist or, like, a huntsman general or something. All right, so I'm going to go take a look at what you suggested here. Ready to serve. Clergy of Sigmar, is that what you're saying? So we can't get these yet. These are, these are some really good ones, for sure. Immortality. Okay, so maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. But anyways... So, can we get to Kislev? No, not yet. Well, this is going to be a bit scary. Okay, so there's a Chaos Agent up there. Spartacus can head to the fort and kind of replenish a little bit, which will be good. The meme tank needs to heal, especially. These territories all seem to be upgrading happily. Franz is now ready, too. We'll upgrade the Church of Sigmar here. And, uh... Do so we have a Church of Sigmar in Midland? Why not? Everybody wants a Church of Sigmar. What does it give? Untainted? Yeah, I mean, we just need the tier 1 version to get the untainted. Upgrade the gatehouses. I love that feeling when you just have enough money to just like click on everything you want. So now we have a bit of a, a conundrum. I think we send Karl Franz north to help out against Chaos because I feel like that's more thematic. And we send Volkmar the Grim south to deal with rats. <laughs> Which sounds like it's like a punishment or something, but yeah, we'll send, we'll send Franz to the north. Now, yeah, where do we have threats? Like, Norska is like... But Norska seems kind of limp. Limp this campaign. Research not character? Oh, okay. Clergy of Sigmar, you say? Emissary to Altorf, Purge the Fell. Oh, Supply Wagons. Oh, yeah, Supply Wagons is actually pretty good. Okay, yeah, we'll probably do that. That's a good one. Lawlorn, dude, Lawlorn was the hardest battle I've ever had in a campaign. Like, that was that was just a nightmare of a situation. You know, I don't know how good Chaos is. But honestly, Karl Franz needs to take out that Skaven Hell Pit anyways. So, it's one of our campaign objectives. So, Franz is going to go north. Uh, let's just freaking bro charge him up to Kislev. Yes. <laughs> come, brothers! Blessing. We come to aid you! And we'll go south with Volkmar. Volkmar can uh, help out with the rat infestation. I don't think there's going to be any threats from this direction. Granted, we'll bring Volkmar down here and just kind of hang tight for now. And Balthazar Gelt has successfully dealt with the uh, the rat invasion. We do have the Knights of Moor that we can recruit here. But yeah, Gelt can just keep healing. And then from here, we'll go south and get Quen uh, Quenellas here, which will be a complete province, which will be nice. And we'll just go south and like secure all these territories with Gelt. Do we have any ROR's I can recruit, as a matter of fact? We could do some global recruitment too, which would be cool. Okay, we have great swords here. Huntsman, getting more huntsmen might be good. We'll just wait for now. Great, so we have some weaving houses we can upgrade and we can upgrade you as well. Fast turn. Hey, what's going on, Milo? Uh, we're playing on very hard, Dead Like Me. Yeah, it's very hard difficulty. That's usually what I play on. I feel like it's a good balance of difficulty, but it's not like so obnoxious that you're just basically having to like game the system. I'm on extermination duty with Gelt, yes. But seriously, Lala and Forest was like one of the hardest battles I've ever had. Like, so basically what it was is I went with Karl Franz and Volkmar the Grim. Now, my armies were pretty good in terms of power level, but it was mostly great swords, it was mostly hand gunners, and a couple like elite cab units. And the Wood Elf army was an entire like doom stack of like Deep Wood Scouts and like freaking archers and, and glade riders. So basically, like, whenever I chase them, they just kite in every direction because the AI, unlike players, isn't going to screw up kiting. They just kind of run randomly. Like, it controls them all at once. So it was actually kind of hard. And we lost, like, most of our forces because greatswords aren't going to be good against that. Neither are Demogriff Knights or Handgunners. So it was a really hard fight, to be honest. Yeah. Don't worry, Oren. I will uh, link it. It should be in my channel uh, description as well. If it's not, though, I'll... Uh... Yeah, I'll get you guys a Discord link. Don't worry. Just hang tight. So, the Warriors of Chaos have been destroyed, which... I mean, shouldn't there be more? Like, that's not the main Chaos Invasion, is it? There's no way. Well, anyways, Karl Franz needs to take out Hellpit, which would be fine. So, we'll go up there with Franz, and we'll... We'll deal with uh, Chaos. Yeah, I have a pretty good army against Chaos, right, uh, Palatine. I have, like, great swords, hand gunners, Demogriff Knights. That's, like, the main core of my army with a couple artillery pieces, which I think is very well suited against Chaos. Plus, they're very upgraded as well. Wood Elves in campaign are quite obnoxious arrow, yes. 
Yeah. But we were able to win that fight, thankfully. It was a close one. Okay, so... You know what? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, as a matter of fact, we can actually send Volkmar to deal with this... Sterling. Oh, Sterling is the one we want, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll accept. Because that gives us the whole center mass of the Empire, which is great. Oh my god, they, they have so much stuff. So we now have Sterling. We have the whole center here, which is great. <laughs> Wiggle. Wiggle Poppenheimer, what a name. Alright, so we need to get you out of the army. For some reason it makes you do that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Thank you for your, the time you've, you've spent helping out the Empire. Now, how's this Empire Captain doing? Is he actually, like, good? You know, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. He could actually be embedded in an army somewhere. Who needs it, though? Spartacus. I mean, no, we don't. We don't. Hmm. Franz doesn't really need the Empire Captain. Volkmar, Volkmar the Grim is actually going to go deal with the... Uh, where are the Beastmen here? They're a little bit danger close, for sure. So maybe Volkmar will go deal with the... I got to deal with this stupid Beastmen army up here at Lawler and Forest. It's literally just like set up a nest there and just lives there. Yeah, we, we don't really care for this. That's fine. All right, so now we have to kind of go through and make sure we... Like, because... These, when you confederate with these folks, they always bring like a ton of haggard armies with them. Hey, at least this one had some Hellstrom rocket batteries. That's kind of cool. We'll also take a look at the unique building. Now, our Imperial Authority is pretty terrible right now, but it doesn't really matter. The penalties are insignificant. All right, so... You are going to go settle Kislev. Which we will repair. Which we will... Sure, we'll get an iron mining pit. We'll upgrade that as well. And Electric Count Spartacus will continue on north. Chaos Corruption here is quite strong. Alright, well, that's fine. I don't think there's any other big threats over here. Now, there's obviously a couple more armies I was missing here. Spartacus, Balthazar Gelt, Volkmar the Grim. Yeah, so here we go. We, we have this guy. We can probably get rid of him now, to be honest. Actually, he's doing a pretty good job colonizing here. This is actually not a bad little army. But, like, it's really expensive. Mm, Gold Chevron Demogriff Knights aren't bad. Yeah, I, th I think we're okay, though. Like, I don't feel like wasting time. Like, yeah, it's all these random characters they have. Level 9 Warrior Priest. Uh, yeah, terrible abilities, terrible stuff. Time for cleanup! Thank you guys for your service to the Empire. All right, and then we can get rid of you. Let's see if they put anything decent on him. Nope, he's just random clicks everywhere. Uh, Toddbringer's been taken down. Yeah, he went down a while ago, actually. All right, so we pretty much, like that, like the whole empire is almost ours now. So now we just need to go through and optimize the buildings of this region. Um, so we have, do we have walls here is the question. There's no walls, which is a bit of a concerning issue. And what is the unique building here? Reichsfort. Maybe it's not here. Is it the moot? Oh, we have the moot now. So the moot, we're going to go ahead and uh, an armory and a barracks and a tap room. Yeah, we definitely don't need all those in the moot. Oh, well, tap room might be okay to keep. They are halflings after all. So yeah, we have the moot now. If you guys take a look at the unique building, it's actually the Grand Cauldron. So it gives us a public order and growth for all provinces. It's actually quite nice. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get the moot going here, but 27% Chaos Corruption, goodness gracious. Yeah, we're going to have to start getting Shrines of Sigmar everywhere. Tollgates is fine, we don't really need the Undercity buildings. We don't need the Armory here, really. I mean, does the Armory? Local recruitment, global recruitment capacity, okay, that's not bad, I guess. And we do have a Shrine of Sigmar here, which is good, so yeah, we'll just get rid of the Armory for now. Although it does allow us to get Demis, which is cool. We don't really care for the artillery tech here. We have an Imperial Academy. Oh, that's okay. We can keep that. Aside from that, yeah, it's okay. It's not like the most optimal, but... Then we have this. The fort here. We can get rid of this. We'll keep the Shrine to Sigmar. For now, we just need to get walls there. The moot's under our control. Yeah, we've already done all this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Worry not, his mustache lives on. So Toddy, Toddy was being a little bit of a dick. 
to be fair. Uh, tomorrow's multiplayer tournament stream is going to be starting at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's already I've confirmed the players. It's good to go. So I was going to do it today, but there was a couple people who couldn't do it, and I wanted to get them in the event because they had been waiting for quite some time. So uh, so yeah, we say, we changed it up. So uh, Boris von Gandalf is pretty much the magic man. The withering is okay. I don't think it's like terribly pertinent. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get scouting. That's fine. All right, so Franz is just bro charging north like an absolute absolute uh you know unit here so he's gonna go up there and volkmar the grim i kind of want to go deal with this beastman filth over here like there's just this weird army sitting there uh von ulfsen thank you so much finally caught a stream the campaign has been epic so far good job man thank you man i'm glad you think so it's been i've been having a blast and yeah we do have a beastman problem down here as well and if they decide to go hostile on us like yeah so let's get the volkswagen down here the Volkswagen's going to go deal with that Beastman threat. Um, Geltz. Oh, you think you're going to get that city? Can I actually reach this? Oh, man, I can reach the city now. So can we recruit anything here? We can get you guys, and we can get freaking... Is there any RORs? I guess we'll just take the Mortar and uh, the Knights for now. It's fine. We just want to get a full 20 stack. So Geltz is going to just... We're going in raw! We're not scouting, just charging. Let's auto-resolve. Let's take those rats out and let us occupy. So now we have another region down here, which is cool. Uh, hmm, which one do we want? The growth building's okay, but I think we're going to get some walls here. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Pimp Daddy, Golden Master Gelt has leveled up once again. Oh, Quicksilver! <laughs> oh, Quicksilver! So now we can fly, which is awesome. Let's upgrade this as well. All right, so the rats are slowly being pushed back, the exterminators. Hey, I caught you painting empire models. I did see those. Do you think I should paint Captain on a Pegasus or hand handgunners? Go for the handgunners, man. Come on. <laughs> you need the backbone first, right? The backbone of the empire, the state troops. Up here, is there any movements left? I think he moved, he moved. Volkmar the Grim moved. Death Jacks, we can just disband. We don't need to pay the upkeep for that. And everything's looking good, and we do have a new province here, so we can probably tax them. Yeah, everything's pretty much capped out here. Uh, do we need the growth buildings? We have the winery, which is cool. Yeah. Cool. And I think we have another region. Oh, yeah, we have the moot as well. Uh, the moot, we can just go for uh, actual growth. Actually, no, we're maxed out there. I mean, Festog, because they seem unhappy at the moot for some reason. It's because they don't have the Great Cauldron. We can go for growth here because we do need to grow this region. All right, fast turn. Balthazar Gelt can fly. Quicksilver rises to conquer the filthy ratlings. And yeah, guys, we almost have the entire empire now. Now, basically, like what you would probably do is just be like, all right, so the remaining elector counts, you just beat them into submission. But a Skaven named Warpatek. Yeah, they all laughed at the man in Iron Mask. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Not the Skaven. Yeah, I honestly, and I think Gelt is going to go just sweep south and just smash all this Gaven. And the freaking rats, like, ugh. Eventually they'll get critical failures, I'm hoping. It's so obnoxious. The Moot special building is really good. I wish I could have gotten it earlier in the campaign because it does give you growth for every single province. It's like, damn. That's really good and tasty. That is really solid. We have another donation as well from Christian. 11 minutes ago, I just saw this come through for $1. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate it, man, Christian B. Hopefully you're enjoying the campaign, man. All right, so we've driven the rats away from our borders. So now even if they come back in force, they have to kind of fight through barriers of Bretonians and things like that because they were getting danger close. They were getting a little bit too comfy in their rat's nest here. So we'll go take out. Gelt will push all the way south and potentially take them out. So Gelt has his mission. He has his directive. He's happy. He's good. Aldebrand wants a... A trade agreement? Okay. Sure, dude. Sounds good. We're che we'll check our fealty as well. We should actually be getting relatively close to Confederation with Nordland again, because we denied that, but our last elector counts are probably going to declare war on us. They'll have a civil war because, you know, our imperial authority is going to get really terrible. Yeah, so. Hey, Misha, thanks for joining. You and Anna hanging out, huh? Sounds like fun. 
I'll let you know, Armando. I will. Most of it's budget, but yeah, I will let you know. All right, so, okay, okay. So Averland, uh, defend against the Skaven. I'll send a military force, that's fine. Man, we are rich. Okay, we're gonna auto-resolve that. You know, this is the first time I've seen one of these battles be like super one-sided. <laughs> All right, great, I didn't have to fight an intervention battle. All right, that's cool. I am ready. I am ready. So let's get our walls there. Gelt is just an absolute unit here, just causing problems. So he's pretty much replanned. Man, Gelt heals up quick. We'll just continue our great crusade against the rat people. <laughs> just continue heading south. Volkmar the Grim is going to be heading down here to deal with the uh, threat at the gates. Although it looks like the beastmen left. Yeah, it looks like they left. Okay, that's fine. Or somebody else dealt with them. They're not in the Empire, right? I'm not missing them. No, I don't think so. The Moot. For some reason, they didn't build that unique building, which is amazing. And let's get some gates there as well for when chaos comes later. And we want gates. We want gates. And good. Everything looks cool. So what we'll do now is we'll get Volkmar the Grim, we'll head up to Lalorn Forest, and we will deal with that frickin' uh, Beastman army that's just been hanging out there. Just setting up its filthy rat's nest in our uh, territories. Get the gates going here. Now as far as fealty goes, we're negative five, so we're not going to get Imperial Authority back at this point. It's probably honestly going to be Civil War. I'm ready to butcher some rats he is. Yeah, so the whole Empire is almost ours. Obviously, Luan will, Luan will be the last person for us to probably take out. We're 8 here, we're 8 here, and we're 10 here. So these guys will accept, or offer us fealty relatively soon. Which is cool. Franz, Franz is just moving up. He's He's got, you know, he's got business to attend to. Now in this region, Chaos Corruption is going to start permeating in. So what we should probably do, do we have a Shrine of Sigmar here? We do have one. Okay, so Kislev is here. We have uh, military access with them, which is cool. Spartacus is going to move north and keep resecuring uh, these territories. So let's go ahead here and see what we'll resecure the city here. We're going to have to work really hard to get rid of the chaos corruption up here because it is quite tainted. And Volksgrad, yeah, we'll, we, we'll resecure that. So now we're officially the Bastion against Chaos. He'll take attrition, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, this expansion feels so good. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Forts are going. We have our gold mine, which is quite happily mining up in the hills here. Karl Franz is going to go secure these territories. Granted, these are un uninhabitable climates, so we might actually not get these. Yeah, we probably won't get those. We'll just go after Hellpit, because Hellpit is one of our victory conditions, if we look. I think it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. So see, like, we have Altorf, we have Drakenov, Kislev, so we have three, four. We have four of the eight already. We'll get Hellpit pretty quick. Um... Crone and Oak of Ages can be done. Skaven Blight, I'm going with Balthazar Gelt. Like, we can actually... And Sartosa, yeah. We can get Sartosa with Gelt, too. So there's, like, a lot of them we can get without having to, uh, you know, get two Hogwilds. Just have a random Warrior Priest down here. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just hanging out, doing my thing. Let's get a Gatehouse here. Castle Dempelhof. Unfortunately, we don't have Schwarzhofen. We haven't been going that long. I mean, the campaign's been going for 53 minutes. Ultimate plot twist for turn is if uh, Games Workshop decided that the Skaven take a lot of showers and wash their hands frequently. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? So we're on turn 100. I honestly think we can close this out by turn 150. Although taking the uh, the, the Tree of Ages in here, the Oak of Ages, is going to be a pain in the ass. Freaking Wood Elves. Like, Volkmar is going to have to come down with Gelt, I think, eventually. Pass. Yeah, yeah, it's on. I gotta tax that gold mine, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Ah, delicious smoothie. So tonight, so back in high school, when I was in high school, I graduated high school in 2006. I'm a bit of an old fogey. We, uh, I used to play football in high school, and of course we have, in America, we have like homecoming and like big traditions around that. So tonight is my high school's like homecoming game, so Anna and I are gonna drive back to my old high school and actually watch it and, and uh, check all that out a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have Prague be the the bastion in the north there, and we're not gonna capture those territories that Chaos raised because they're uninhabitable. So hopefully Kislev will just take them back, or someone will. No, you're pretty early. Jen says I think my favorite faction in the uh, is the von Karsteins, but it's just so tough having to pretty much be at war with everyone around you. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's kind of like that with Empire too. Like you're you're getting attacked from all all sorts of 
you know, angles and things like that. But yeah, I mean, vampires, like, diplomacy isn't really an option, right? Like, you're just going to be hated. That's true, Robert. Then they would not be filthy. But yeah, we're going up north. We're doing it. Confederation with wood elves. All right. So we got to go re remove this beast and taint from our lands. Then Volker the Grim will probably go south to join. Although, honestly, I could probably just marshal a new army to go help. Yeah, let's marshal a new force to go help out in the south. I think it's about time we have another sack. And we, then we can keep Volkmar up north. He's, he's a little bit stronger, so he'll probably be better against Chaos. Uh, Lucas says, turn him in Poland right now. Uh, can you tell me if buy and thanks mean the same thing? If buy and thanks? No, I mean, no. No, they don't. They don't, my friend. What do you think about the assault on Area 51? <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Like, I saw like a news clipping of someone standing outside Area 51 today and then like some guy in the background just does like a Naruto run like behind the camera. It was really funny, actually. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, income from sacking settlements. We'll just take the leadership. That's fine. Oh. Oh, imminent rebellion, huh? It's... Oh, the corruption in Lawlorn Forest is real, huh? Well, I guess good thing we're sending Volkmar up there. Go get your holiness up there and take care of that, buddy. Well, there's going to be... Is there anything we can do to help with the public order here in Lawlorn Forest? That'll help with the corruption for sure. Let's get rid of the roads and see if there's any buildings we can get to help with corruption. All right, so Gelt Daddy is... Uh... What? What? Ah, oh, Bretonia, you are so obnoxious. Who's this? Castle Castle Bastone or something? They have like two territories. You're unfriendly with us, huh? All right. Like the Bretonians are all like trundling down here now. They're like, ah, oh, it would seem that the threats have been dealt with. Of course. Is this a province? That's pretty nice. Honestly, God damn it. That's really annoying. Oh, AI. AI, AI, AI. Oh, there's a landmark here, huh? Karabrick? The Knight's Panther House. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's get that. I know it's more for, you know, other things, but... Still a thousand people showed up? Oh my god, that's crazy. The Righteous, the righteous shall uh, shall endure, I suppose, huh? So Kislev here is, is on its way on the up and up. We have a unique building here, the, the Baka Pal uh, Boka Palace. That's pretty cool. Honestly, we probably got to start with growth here, just because it's uh, it's going to be slow growing. Electric Count Spartacus is just in the wastelands here, trying to secure everything. We're going to get Ulrich. We'll colonize this. These foul lands are coming back into... Yeah, so Spartacus is going to be like Jon Snow. He's just literally going to be like anchored here, just defending these lands until the end of his days. We're going to suffer attrition. Helpit's garrison is pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be... I don't know. Franz's army is like okay for sieges, but we don't have archers and things like that. Ah, man. Okay. Well, we need help it anyway, so it's one of our victory conditions. So he's moved here. Now we have a ton of money. Do we start marshalling another army to help Balthazar? I'm really tempted to just recruit a character at Nuln and start recruiting artillery. So let's go ahead and see. Who do we have to choose from? So we have Eben. I don't know what his stat line really looks like. We don't really want another Arch Lector. What is even straight? He is level 9, which is cool, but the question is, like, does he have any good abilities? Sometimes starting your own is better, right? Oh, plus 2 melee attack for everyone in your army is pretty good. But we do want... We should probably get an Elector count, so let's see. Oh, we don't have an Elector count here yet of Sterland. So we'll actually get you, Indeed. the guy we were about to recruit, and put him here. So he's going to get the Orc Hewer. Oh, that's cool. And we get the Sterling River Patrol. Cool. Uh, Albert Ho says, Hey, Turin, love your work. Is it possible to get a Discord link? Yes, I will get a Discord link here uh, in just a moment. Although, Misha, if you could actually drop that, that would be very helpful if you're still here. So we recruit at Nuln. We'll get Eben. He is level 9, which, I mean... I don't know how good his tree is, but it's still nice to have a character with a little bit of experience under his belt. And he has an Elector account now. He's Imperious. Charge bonus. Yeah, it's pretty crap. It's a pretty crappy trade, actually. 
It's okay. Let's see. Let's see how he's developed here. Oh, that's pretty good. He's got Pistol Corpse. He's got Leader of Renown. This guy's actually got like a, a good investment. Great. So now we're going to start recruiting some uh, some Hellstorms. And we'll also get some cannons. And he can get the uh, the River Patrol. Why not? That'll be fun. Yeah, well, we'll just do that for now. So he's going to start marshalling a force to come help Balthazar Gelt out. Because Gelt is going to be, you know. And who are these guys at war with? So nobody likes them. They have a trade agreement with Artois. You know what? Screw these guys, man. Get off my territories. I'm sick. I'm sick of this shit, AI. I'm sick of it. Why can't I reach you? Why is this? Why is this even close? Okay, so reinforcement, settlement, garrison. All right, so let us fight. Hey, Sanghalat117, been watching for a year and just managed to get on here. Dang, welcome, man. Yeah, 508 people watching campaign, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we declared war on those Bretonians because I want these territories, and I'm actually just gonna go north and take their other territories too, because why not? Like, I, I'm not, they're not friends with Lewin. They're not, there's no really real penalties for, you know, doing this, so. Uh... I don't remember if Hellblasters can shoot walls, actually. Freaking attacking this filthy rat city. We'll attack this gate over here. We have the Eldred Guard here. So Gelt's great crusade against the rat people. So far we haven't had too many crazy battles this, this, uh, this time around, but... Great, that should be fine. Huntsman can kind of be following up here. Oh, why is the artillery in that group? They are, should not be there. This army has a lot of knights, unfortunately, so it's not going to be like super good in the uh, in the siege kind of circumstances, but it's okay. Two, four, and five is fine. Just start deployment, start battle. All right, so let's start blasting the walls here. Magic is indeed the best siege weapon, and then uh, we can shoot the. Can we shoot the walls here. Let's no, shoot the walls. Denver Griff Knights, where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are in the, the Shadow Room here. Ah, Gelt is on Quicksilver! Tremble, Skaven, in despair. Hellstorm Rocket Batteries can sh shoot it. Clan Rats up here. We want to put them on guard mode so they don't like scoot up all obnoxious. All right, the walls are going down quickly here. We'll do a final transmutation on the Lord here in just a second. Walls should be busted up here and we should be able to march through relatively quickly. Oh, oh, look at that blob. <laughs> Fly, Gelt. Get them with the Golden Hounds. Didn't do as much damage as I'd liked, but it's still not terrible. Huntsmen are so good. Being able to, like, advance like that and shoot is just so solid. All right. All right. So it looks like some rats back here are attacking, so let's go ahead and clean them up with the Demogriff Knights. So let's get you guys through the gates here, if we can. We do want to get them, like, a little bit blobbed up on us. We get some great swords going here. We'll get you guys climbing the walls, and you guys can climb the walls there. The warrior priest can also help here. Yeah, come on. So let's blob them in the gatehouse. Yes, come. And we'll get our knights, the uh, the ones that caused terror, and pull them up. You guys can just keep shooting over the wall, pretty much whatever you can see. Hellstorms look so cool. I wish they were better in multiplayer. Actually, let's actually stop shooting those guys for now. Uh, because they're going to start friendly firing our great swords who do climb the walls. Come on, blob on us. Blob up, boys. We'll get the death runners. That's actually a pretty good target. Ooh, that's going to hurt. War Lightning is such a good spell in campaign. And in multiplayer, War Lightning is actually pretty good. I'm just going to wait for them to blob up and then get a big overcasted final transmutation. Demogriff Knights are still peeling back there. The mortar crews need to get back on. Let's have you guys shoot the walls. Yes, good Anakin. Oh, this is going to be so powerful. Unlimited power. That's a big, juicy, overcasted one. Just to make it even better, we'll do this. And uh, do the hounds as well. 
The gates are open. Let's get you guys kind of pour pouring in here. Well, Gilt, Gilt had some pretty good nuking there, for sure. The walls are ours. Get you guys in the walls. Here, get in there. Climb those walls, buddy. Okay, Gelt can go back and deal with this Gaven Artillery because it is going to do some damage to us. Although we could just wait for another final transmutation here. Our knights are going to be lowering melee attack and combat stats of these various troops, which is cool. Hellstorms, is there any like rats we can shoot at that are kind of off the beaten path? Huntsman, let's get you guys kind of squared up here. Yeah, I should probably final transmutation this blob because the halberds will do damage against my knights and stuff. Come on, come on. There you go. So we'll cast that one more time. Man, Gelt, Gelt gets pretty good in campaign, for sure. The siege capabilities are no joke. Oof. That's so good. God, that, he makes siege battles so much easier. Josh Edwards says, keep up the work, man. Favorite uh, counter pick against dwarves? Uh, probably, like, Beastmen. Beastmen, I, I, like, I feel like Beastmen are just so good against dwarves. It's, like, it's so hard to, like, deal with the, the pigs and the chariots and, like, just their aggressive infantry and stuff. Um, let's finish this gap if we can. There's some rats coming back here. I just left the Demogriff Knights out there because we didn't really need them, so. For some reason they're not. They're still going strong here. Pimp Daddy Gelt. <laughs> just transmuting ain't easy. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty good, man. Warrior Priest can stay here. Let's pop that Hammer of Sigmar. Our glorious knights are just going to be charging down the streets. Huntsman and company. Put them in group six. And yeah, there we go. Get in there. Get in there, great swords. And I, I know it's halberds, but you guys are you guys are champing it. Pimp Daddy Gelt's just trying to deal with the Skaven artillery back here, but it's just not not going quietly. Let's get the Hellstorm shooting in here. We could just shoot at some random walls here. It's fine. How are they not army lost yet? Is my question. All right, so the Lord has fallen. We should fast forward at this point. Yeah, there we go. I guess in siege battles, it kind of gives you more of a benefit of the doubt. <laughs> what do you mean, rats? These are obviously... You know, actually, speaking of, Skaven are a pretty good counter against dwarves. It's so hard, because, like, they have chariots, so they have, like, they have, like, snipers that can pick off your characters and elite value targets. Uh, Turn, do you think Huntsmen can work in a defensive empire build? I think they work in both builds, Alexander, because what's really cool about Huntsmen is, is they're, like, a diverse unit. You can use them in a defensive pocket, or you can start, like skirmish. So even if you have a defensive build, you can start them outside of your army just a little bit, like still in range of support, and you can like get a little bit of value against your opponent. But if they have a big aggressive force, you just fall back. Uh, I personally think they're much better than crossbows because they bring anti-large to the table, and they pretty much serve the same purpose, and their damage outputs are relatively similar. So, um, so yeah, that's just my two cents. Aha, the rats have been dealt with. We've driven off the Bretonians as well. Ooh, we don't need the money. We really don't. Wow, okay, this is actually a nice little city we have here. So let's build some walls. Uh, Demogriff Knight tech is cool. We have a freaking Cinnabar mine. Man, look at this. We're coming up in the world. <laughs> Should we offer these guys a peace treaty now? Yeah, we just like went to war with those guys just to get this castle. Gelt's like, I am ready. We want to get our King Conduit, so we'll get Transmutation of Blood. His warrior priest, who's uh, quite bald and powerful, is leveled up as well. Shield of Faith is a really good ability, so we'll get that. Boom. So Gelt Daddy's quite happy. We might actually... Oh, these guys are probably going to attack us now. How, how are the walls at Paravon? Oh, never mind. We actually have walls there. And our new lord, uh... Eben. We'll, uh... We're going to name him Eben Von Kilbasa. Yes, perfect. One of our electric counts. All right, so that's been done. Spartacus here is ready to party, but he's still healing up, which is fine. Franz has moved. And, uh, oh, that's right. We have, uh, we're probably going to want to get, like, untainted up here. It's, like, super corrupted. Oh, yeah, I had a blast in Poland. And I see Anna in chat talking about it. It was really fun. I mean, mainly because of her, but you know, it was, it was, it was a, it's a great place. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, Sang, Helitat one one seven says, "Damn, fifty dollar donation, dude. Jesus, thank you." Says, "Been watching your matches for a year or so, and I just wanted to thank you for the entertainment and keep me entertained at work for Sigmar and for the Empire, brother." And yes, I actually have a match coming up after the stream today, which was 
a really insane match between Tomb Kings and uh, and uh, Vampire Counts. It's really, really good. Everyone likes Turin except Wild Pigs in Poland. That's probably true. Well, I don't know if everybody does, but yeah. What's up, Tony Hill? How's it going? Yeah, thank you again for that 50, man. That's a very generous donation. Even Von, even von Verst. I know, I, but I have a special kind of connection with Kielbasa, so I, I felt like that was fitting. So Franz is making his way up north. He's going to go after Hell Pit, which is one of our victory conditions. It seems like Chaos has been like... Oh, we have a quest battle up here, actually. I keep forgetting I have quest battles on Volkmar and a couple other characters. Kielbasa is really good. Like, Kielbasa with some, like, like, like fresh warm bread. Oh, God, that's like... That's just full chub material. Hello from Russia. Love your streams. Hey, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything's good over there in the east. Welcome to the stream, man. Warherd of Chaos. Like, where, where, where's the Chaos threat? I was like... I saw, I was like, oh, no, Kislev is falling. And then there's, like, one stack of Chaos Warriors. I'm like... I feel like there should be more. Oh, yeah, we'll take the Imperial Authority, that's fine. Prague here is uh, coming up in the worlds. Again, we probably need growth infrastructure. It'll be nice once we get these cities developed, but Spartacus in the meantime is gonna be the uh, warden here. Uh, eventually we'll we'll send Spartacus into the north, uh, but they're uninhabitable, so we don't really wanna mess with that. Um, so we'll get rid of him for now. There's a fort here. Hmm. Help it. In the name of Magnus. Yeah, they don't like us, for sure. They're buddies with Norska, which is to be expected. Sudden disappearances. Oh, lovely. Must be Skaven. You know, as a matter of fact, do we really need this recruitment infrastructure down here? What can we recruit right now? We can't even get Demogriff Knights, really. We don't need that, so we should just get rid of that and get, like, some useful defensive, you know, thing. So, even Von Kilbasa is still recruiting here, which is fine. Um, local recruitment, we can get... I can't get Huntsman here, unfortunately, so it's just going to be Artillery. Uh, he, he can be our Artillery Master. Great. That's going to be a lot of arch Artillery, yeah. He'll be a very static army, but that'll be fine. Uh, so we're going to get the Supply Wagons, because that's really good. I, I didn't notice that before, so we're going to kind of work our way over there. So he's going to keep recruiting, and then he'll head on over to Altdorf to marshal his main force. Kielbasa is the Apex Sausage. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty good. So now with Gelt, we have a couple of options. I think we go take this city to complete the province. The rats might come, but we're like really pushing the rats back. Like if we go to their capital, Skaven Blight is another victory condition as well. So he wants a peace treaty. He's like, he's beaten into the dirt now. Castle Carcassonne has a garrison, which can stop these terrible Bretonian armies. Can he take anything? I mean, maybe there. With that because he's got what Pegasus Knights? Nah, probably not. All right, Gelt's gonna go secure that, which is fine. And here we have Ivan von Kielbasa is recruiting. Unfortunately, I don't speak Polish, but my lovely wife who's in chat probably does. Uh, or of course she does, but it can probably answer your questions. What I meant. Uh, all right, so that is good. Carl's going to make his way on up to help it, I guess. Oh no, we're trespassing against Clan Mulder. Whatever will we do? What's cool is Elector Count Spartacus is nearby as well. I know help it has an insane garrison. Oh man, that is nasty. Do we bring in Sparty? We'll think about it. Lawler and Forest here. Now what can we get to help with the uh, corruption? Not corruption, but the public order here. I guess we could just get the uh, tap room. Volkmar the Grim is going to take out this Beastman army here. Because they've just like literally just been sitting here taking a shit on our base for like like an hour. We'll auto resolve that, which is fine. We will not pardon the Beastman, that's for sure. That would be like the worst thing. Volkmar would never do that. Oh, Purple Sun, won't you come and wipe away our foes? Great. Good job, Volkmar. Good job, man. So now we can relocate Volkmar the Grim. So even Von Kilbasa is going to be in the south. Helping out Balthazar. I really don't, I feel like we don't need a lot of help up here, though. It's kind of like a weird thing. So we'll actually have Volkmar as, like, kind of a centerpiece. Like, he can just be, like... Like, even here is, like... I mean, it's just, like, a bunch of haggard Norskin bases. Although Volkmar could go on a bit of a crusade across the bend and just start, like... How strong are these guys? Ooh, strength rank 7, actually, on Norska. Goodness, they're pretty powerful. Okay, so... 
Maybe we take Volkmar and just go over here. Who are we trespassing on here? Why does it say we're trespassing? Yeah, anyways. So we have our gatehouse here. We uh, do not really need the recruitment infrastructure, I suppose, but let's get this. We'll get a Shrine of Sigmar here as well, because Chaos Corruption will uh, osmosify through, uh, through the region. I know we can't upgrade it, but it doesn't really matter. All right, cool. So our new army's forming. Volkmar might go on a crusade to Norska. Is he equipped to deal with like mammoths and things like that though? Yeah, he's got Huntsman. Yeah, he'll be fine. And pass around. A black hole, son. Won't you come and wash away the rain? I, man, I love Soundgarden. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the rebel army. I totally forgot. Oh, well, Volkmar, <laughs> back you go. Yeah, they probably won't be able to take Lalor and Forest Garrison right away. So as long as we get there with Volkmar next turn. Damn it. Damn it. Hm. Screw it all. But I guess it only happened because I left. Yeah. The corruption. Yeah, the corruption is really the big issue here. I probably shouldn't be. Whoa. They will receive this. I didn't even know we were at... What? A peace treaty? Get out of here. Your strength rank, strength rank 40. Nonsense. That should be the next saga. Total war kill Basa, yeah. Non-aggression pack. That's fine. Yeah, she's friends with the dwarves. That's cool. I'm, all, I, I'm down for the Tomb Kings, you know. All right, so I forgot we had a Chaos Army spawning here. That's lovely. Zapka is your 7-11. Yeah. Yes, it is. We have another donation from Christian on the glorious uh, PayPal for a dollar. <laughs> Thank you, man. So your ally has been attacked. What else? Oh, hell yeah. We will ride to the aid of you, fellow dwarf. So now we're at war with the Wood Elves. So thankfully we are forming an army that can deal with them, actually. Even Von Kilbasa will uh, hopefully be up to the task of taking on the tree people. He's going to have like 10 cannons, but I mean, it depends if we fight in the forest. That can actually be pretty hard. Norska, I guess we just kind of have to like, I don't know. I mean, if Norska takes these like periphery territories, it's not a big deal. And I feel like they're more like busy up north. Norska is actually pretty strong here. All right, where are you going, buddy? Can I win this fight? I feel like I have a chance here. I don't know why. I just like, I feel like they're going to land the Pegasus into Spears and it's just, I'll fast forward most of this. I don't know if I have a chance. I probably don't, but Tony Hill really enjoyed the streams. Even the miserable Ozzy himself started uh, being chilled like your good self, sir. Even the miserable Ozzy. Who are you referring to, Tony? I started being chilled like your good self. Huh. Well, thank you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, I don't know if we can win this, actually. I mean, Pistol Ears, four crossbows is really good against, like, Pegasus Knights and stuff. All right, so let's go get some value here. If we could, like, pull these Pegasus Knights away from the main fight. Yes, good, Anakin, good. So we just go back this way. We, we keep kiting, kiting them into the Shadow Realm, and that's going to pull away, like, a decent portion of this army. All right, great. So now the main force is coming. Um, let's go ahead and get back here. We're getting some okay work in. So we'll just fast forward, like I said, because it's not that big of a deal. Okay, Pegasus Knights are getting crumped. The main army's coming in as well. Okay, now we'll go back to regular speed. Yeah, we can't really kite much further. So we'll get one spear over here, and we'll get one spear up in the high ground here. We're getting some pretty good damage on the Lord, though, for sure. <laughs> just take him on the big old roundabout here. So these are, what are these, Mounted Yemen? Yeah, we could just pop the Mounted Yemen really quick. Okay, they're not even pressuring that flank. Probably going to do a frontal charge, as a matter of fact. Just keep running through the forest here. Counter charge, the last second. So what do we have, Knights of the Realm? Yeah, we should be hammering the Knights of the Realm, because they're actually like a, a threat. Hopefully the Pegasus Knights just land in the front, because the Swordsmen should be able to win that fight there. Knights of the Realm are actually like something that can hurt us. Pegasus Knights are actually really terrible in sustained combat versus like infantry and stuff, so this is an okay situation for us. Alright, so let's get you guys kind of squaring up here. You crossbows can shoot those Pegasus Knights if you want. Let's get these handgunners kind of moving forward here. 
Get your swordsman over here. All right. So we're kiting. We actually almost have the Lord down. Are we going to win this? I think we might actually win this. This haggard ass Bretonian freaking Pegasus Knight army. All right, so we're kiting those guys. Perfect. So we've taken them for a full loop de loop. Pegasus Knights up here are getting taken out pretty good. Unfortunately, I was a little bit slow to react here to this back pressure. Hopefully the swordsman can get back there. Oh, we can send you guys to go fight them. Guess we have our spears. Where are our spears? Didn't we have spears over there as well? Yeah, they can come back here. Move you guys up. No, actually, oh, we have spears back here. We can simply just do that. It's fine. One group of crossbowmen will take a little bit of damage, but they're, they're very beat up, so it's not really a big issue. All right, so put them in skirmish mode so I don't have to think about it anymore. And these crossbows can simply pull back. These ones can pull back as well. Yeah, we, we barely took any damage. Pretty negligible for sure. Perfect. I keep forgetting these are spearmen because they have like that weird weird icon there. The Grail Relic is going to make it so we have to like really grind them to dust. Let's get you guys kind of back here in support. And now we can start shooting against the uh, Knights of the Realm. Actually, there's more Pegasus Knights coming in. Yeah, let's get you guys coming in. Get the spears going. Swordsmen are going to take a downhill charge, which will really suck. Oh, thankfully they pulled out at like the last second. Let's get some swordsmen over here. How are we doing here? Great, so we've broken the Lord actually, which is cool. Come on, crossbowmen. We gotta put them in guard mode so they'll carry out their orders better. Swordsmen, get in there. Why are you not helping your, your countrymen? So crossbows ready. Let's shoot some Knights of the Realm. We're in guard mode, so we should actually be shooting now. Let's go ahead and set up shop right here to kind of screen out any pressure that's going to be coming in. Pegasus Knights in the back should be taken out as well. And Pistoliers were able to do their job for the most part. Let's pull them back in just to chase things off. Swordsman can come down here. Spearman can collapse in the back of those Knights of the Realm. Swordsman can do the same. I don't know. The issue is like, can this force in the high ground hold? Maybe. Maybe so. What are these? Knights of the Realm? Yeah. Okay. So let's let's square up once more. Let's get some swordsmen back there in reserve. Pull some swordsmen here because we don't need like that many things chasing these Knights of the Realm. Like they did like zero damage to our crossbows. Those guys are shattered. We're not letting these filthy Bretonians take our base. Not today. Shoot those Knights of the Realm there. Those guys are broken off. Spears in reserve. These guys right here. We'll get you guys hanging here. You guys here. Yes, good. Take that damage. And I think the Lord is like, what are they battling? Pistoliers? Honestly, I don't mind even fighting that Paladin right now. Yeah, <laughs> their guys just, their Lord is just dying over there. Well, this is like, yeah, I the bounce of power was like massively in the favor of the AI, but I was like, wait a second, that army doesn't look that good. All right, let's, let's go here. Because, you know, it's it's not just about the bounce of power. It's like if your units just aren't effective against your opponents, then. Um, yeah, so let's, let's actually chase these rats down a little bit just to keep them, keep them at bay here. Although we should probably just let the Lord, you yeah. know. I'd like to finish off the Grail Reliques here. So let's actually just pull the Swordsmen away. Just let the crossbows just go to Pound Town here. We should be able to finish it off faster. Great, so that army is pretty much a non-factor now. All right, yeah, everyone's so filthy. Well, this is the random Bretonian we declared war on because he was trying to take one of our rat cities from us and we were like, no, that's our rat city. Can't have it, it's ours. So we took it and uh, you know, the toll's been paid. The rats do exist apparently. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's a thing. It is a thing indeed. It's not a thing, it's heresy. Heresy, yes, Ananas. All right, so those guys have been dealt with here. Hey, darling. Lovely lady turns his chest to everyone, which means hello. It's going good. What do you, what do you got? Some coffee? Mm -hmm. Are you jealous? I am a little jealous. Mm. Oh no, now I have to fight a haggard chaos rebellion. Oh, uh, sure, baby. Thank you. So the chaos troll stack attacks our Lawlorn uh, forest 
base, but we should actually be able to win this because they're just marauders. And we have two hand gunners, which will just pound that freaking troll to dust. And uh, yeah, we'll be good. Baba's Big Blast, what's your question? You say you have the DLC. Are you talking about Gochak and Felix? You don't have any ROWs for Bretonia. Huh. Thanks, darling. It's cool. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you, sweetheart. So we should be able to win this pretty easily. I mean, Halberds and... Halberds, we'll put the Swordsmen in front to fight the Marauders first. Because they'll be a little bit, you know, better to take the beating on them. Halberds in reserve here, and then the Great Swords can be in the back, and they'll be like our, our final punch. So where do we want to be? Oh, we'll actually go over here. We have a pretty good little, like, hill here to, to perch upon with our hand gunners. All these little garrison battles, little minutia. Quick march! Yeah, I mean, there's no chevrons or anything. I think we're okay. So we just, we might need to like, I'm not, where, where do they go with that? Okay, the hounds are in the front here, which is fine. Oh, uh, the great swords, we can actually pull back a little bit. Move these guys up. Is there gonna be some witchcraft going down? Okay, that's fine. Trolls are getting pound town. Hopefully we can break the trolls before they reach the front line because I don't want the swordsmen to take that initial impact. Come on, break them. Break the trolls. Attack the hounds here. Attack here. Attack here. So the great swords can actually go like just run this flank over here. All right, so the trolls should be broken off here. Halberds have piled in. Hand gunners can now shoot. Let's get you guys here. You basically just want to shoot anything that's like an open field here. So let's actually run around the back with these guys. Yes, good. Pound them to dust. I don't know. It, it might actually be a bit of a hard infantry fight here, but let's run around the back if we can. If they get close, the great swords will hammer them. Surround here and just get a wrap on the Chaos Marauders. It, it, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get those like juicy angles. But yeah, that surround there should be pretty good. Let's see if we can dodge that. Get you guys back on the hill here. We, we kind of dodged it. So those guys are broken off here. Now we just need to kind of look for targets we actually have line of sight on. So we actually have decent line of sight on these Chaos uh, Marauders right here. Great Swords will keep in reserve. For whatever breaks through, the Great Swords can deal with it. Kevin Robinson, a wise man once said, if you uh, if you want to hit it, pull out <laughs> that fat crispy $5 bill in the real. What? <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know why that was funny, but thank you for the donation, man. Kevin. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's shoot the trolls, because they, they can have some shock impact when they come back in here. Lawlorn Forest will not fall this day. I love hand gunners. They're probably one of my favorite units in the game. Oh yeah. Get in there. Butter that bread. Alright, so those guys have been dealt with. They've been crumped pretty good and tasty like. Let's, nah, it's probably too late to dodge that, unfortunately. Uh, maybe a partial dodge. Let's turn, let's turn it off. Have you guys shoot? Shoot the Chaos Lord. Surge in the Great Swords now. Yeah, we should probably actually just polish off this chaos sword. He's gonna get dunked. He's gonna get dunked on pretty good. And then we'll have freaking uh, we'll have the boys deal with him. Unfortunately, I don't have any mobility that can like catch these guys. Get a couple shots there. Shot through the heart, and you're too late. You gave love a bad name, man. You know what would make these streams even better is if we could play like, if I could play my music on these streams. God, man, I wish I could without getting demonetized. And honestly, I, it's not the biggest issue if I don't make ad revenue on a stream, because obviously you guys donate. But the issue is that I'm fairly certain that YouTube, when a video isn't monetized, it gets shown less to people. So it gets less exposure, right? Because YouTube wants to promote monetized content, right? They make money, we make money. But yeah, it, it's a bummer for sure. Look, because I know on Twitch people always, you know, are playing their stuff and it seems like it's a lot of fun. Alright, so we've, we've fended off the foul beasts from Lawlorn Forest. The Chaos Corruption will uh, come to heal for sure. Alright, Volkmar, you got to come back and deal with this. Otherwise, it's just going to keep running around and trolling things. 
All right, so we're looking good here. Do I really want that? I don't even need that there. I don't know why I built that if I did. So, homeboy is all set. Um, this is where we have the recruitment for his infantry. So we can get some local. And I think we can get some global recruitment too. Although I guess just... Like we could we could recruit up our uh, Huntsman core here. Although if I recruit Huntsman and Altdorf, yeah, they'll just have one Chevron, so... Man, we can fill out armies real quick here. Huntsman will be great against what we're dealing with in the south, and then uh, Demogriff Knights... I guess you're going to take a while regardless, right? Let's see what units we have available, actually. We have some pretty good ROR units, actually. Yeah, maybe we can just... I would like some Cav, like some high mass units, to kind of block things up. Also, in Outdoor, we probably want to get a wizard, so let us... You're a wizard, Harry. So, who is going to be cool here? Let's get a Celestial Wizard. I think that'll be fun. Although, life wizards are just so good. You know, we'll get Celestial. Screw it. Public order, leadership in the army. Let's get him. He can head down there. Then we will get a... We shall recruit an Empire Captain. Who can give training to this army. Another great descendant of the Hasselhoff clan. So we'll get that. We'll put him on a war horse. Blade Master is fine. Ooh, level 10 wizard. Oh, do I like that. We're just going to make him like just dropping. He's just going to be Adele. He's going to be coming in the deep here with just AoE spells. Freaking comment all day. Oh, that's going to be awesome. All right, so those guys will go in that army. And honestly, that'll probably like finish him off. I'll just recruit a couple ROs and then he's good to go. Like, I don't want to sit there for 30 turns recruiting. Now, this is the thing. We have we have this, this little rat nuisance up here. It's actually an uninhabitable climate, but we do need to have it to uh, win the campaign. Volkskrad here can't get much. I mean, we'll just get a lumber mill, which is fine. Kislev here needs to get something to like help with public order like ASAP, but the tap room we don't want to build there also. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, the corruption the corruption is becoming an issue in these different territories. Fort Jakova. You know what? The Iron Mine's cool and all, but I think we're gonna get the uh can we get the Temple to Sigmar at tier two? I can't remember. No, it's tier three. Yeah, so I guess we keep the Iron Mine. Yeah, damn. Okay, so because we're going to have rebellion issues here soon. Damn chaos corruption. Just tainting everything. But uh, yeah, we got even Von Kilbasa. He's got his two heroes he's going to have joining his army. Um, Volkmar the Grim. Uh, you know what? Volkmar the Grim can just be the sweeper of the realm. He could just like come and deal with the scraps of, of whatever's around. Although his army's so strong to just be doing that. Now, help it. I could move... Elector Count Spartacus up there to help it as well and get the double siege, which would be pretty good. Our wizard's level 10. Let's go evasion here, because we need to get regrowth. Bring me to my men. Like Huntsman would be so much better against this. So. 20,000 for the sack here. Spartacus's army is a little bit tattered, but it's still like battle battle ready. We'll get him up here. Champion of the faith. Let's take out these filthy parasites once and for all. Okay, so I can just auto-resolve this. I have two juicy armies. Let's hope it's not that bad. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we're just gonna loot and occupy it, I guess. I mean, I don't even need the money. Let's just freaking... Province secured and help it. <laughs> Occupied help it, just says. All right. So yeah, we need to rework this a little bit. Growth, we don't really care for here. I mean, we're about to get that, which is fine. I mean, doesn't uh, the main one already give growth? Yeah, we don't need this growth building. Tap room for sure. Um, thankfully, it comes with a, a tiered out tap room. I, am prince and I know you're Prince and Emperor, dude. It's cool. It's a good deal. 
So we are working on the pistol core, which is going to make his handgunners better. And then Baldicus has leveled up as well. The Grand Shield of Faith is a pretty solid ability. Mm. I was going for the Quartermaster, but yeah, let's just get this. Soulfire is pretty strong in campaign. So he can head on back this direction. So help, it's ours. Unfortunately, we're... All right, so we have a... Skaven Corruption is probably horrid there. We'll set up a Church of Sigmar ASAP. That's the thing. We kind of got to start looking around to see like where uh, where we need to set up churches because Chaos Corruption does start spreading everywhere. Do we have one in this region? It looks like we do not. Yeah, we do actually. Okay. Do we have a church here? We do. Sigmar Church here. Walls need to get leveled up. Walls need to get leveled up. Looks like we do not. So we can actually get rid of this for now. Although the barracks does give us uh, the global recruitment capacity, which is nice. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Okay. Get rid of that for now. <laughs> you better you better pray, baby. Prince and Emperor talk about privilege. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. Uh, Chaos Corruption's actually getting a little bit dirty down here, so we might need to do a little something something and null. The roads are cool and all, but... I mean... I think these, these Sigmarites need to pray. Yeah. Pray that chaos doesn't... I mean, chaos is everywhere. You can see the corruption is, is widespread. Oh, the Wookiee is here! You know, you guys want to see the Wookiee? With his new haircut. Oh god, you guys get to see Wookiee with his new haircut. Let's get him. Oh, but don't, don't laugh at him. Love him. Well, they'll laugh at him. No, nobody gets to laugh at Pucho. Here's Wookiee, guys. He might get green screened out, but he just got a new haircut. So he got... He got shaved to the max. I don't know. Don't, don't show his pee. I'm not trying to. He's he's looking pretty. He's a he's a good boy. He looks very cloudy. He doesn't he, Why does Wookie so, smell like like uh, sweet potatoes? What? He smells like sweet potatoes. He smells like poop. No, he doesn't. <laughs> the sweet potato pucha. He does. No, no, that's not the rosemary spray. Oh, it's the spray. Okay, it's the. Yeah. All right, so chaos corruption. We got our churches in most of our main regions. Here it's starting to uh, become an issue, but we're we're taking care of it. So Volkmar will get that next turn. And we'll pass. Yeah, isn't he great? What? Are you guys seeing this right now? What? Did it get clogged? Just like. Oh. Okay. We will. I totally forgot about that. I'm like, we will occupy that. Yes. It could claw just like ran in and attacked me. Like, what? What was that? So Clan Scryer is definitely getting put in the can pretty hard here. Little dude is handsome. I know. That's what I've been saying. He's a stud. Every emperor needs a good boy. He's a dignified wolf of Ulrich. <laughs> he should be addressed as such. Oh man, it could. Oh no, homie. It's too late, dude. You nukes me. And now you must pay the troll toll. So, we're going to send uh, Balthazar Gelt to exterminate the rats at their home city. And finish them off, which will... Oh, man, we're getting really close to campaign victory, guys. Believe it or not. He smells like a sweet potato. He does, because we ate some the other night in a sweet potato soup, and he smelled the exact same. Ooh, campaign movement range is pretty good on that. I gotta assign that to someone. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what was that rat doing? Did you see him? He just like charged me. He's like, ah. Uh, all right, so Kislev here wants a defensive alliance. Who are they at war with? Wood Elves and Norska? Sure, buddy, we can be friends. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, I know it might not be the smartest thing, but. And then these random ass dwarves just like in the Shadow Realm want. They're fine. They, I mean, I'm not gonna go after them, so. They can just enjoy their, their, uh, let's get some likes in here for that boy. Look at CCs that you're enemy, not foes. Yeah. We are foes, unfortunately for him. So yeah, now we need to, uh, it's been a while since I've itemized my characters. We don't really need growth. That's fine. Destruction and death precede your armies, great lord. Your powers and power is incalculable. 
Oh. Look at this. Faction. Oh, green skins are destroyed. What what threat is there then? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so here we uh, we probably just want to get walls. We'll get 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 that get that Jesus up in here. Get that prayer, because chaos is coming. Yeah, it'll help with scaven corruption too, which is uh, the main point. All right, so these castles are secured. We need to upgrade this just in case the trolls come back. And uh, is there anything else we want to get here, really? Do we have a tap room? Now, we can't fully upgrade it here, but we'll just we'll just build it for now because I'm lazy. All right. Up in the hills. We can get the, uh, some growth here is fine. And the gatehouse there at Grimhold. What do we have at Nuln? Oh, Nuln, that's right. We needed to get the, the church. All right, so these characters need to go just team up the homeboy. And then we need to get the Empire Captain for the training to marshal the troops. And then from here we can recruit like some ROR, probably Zentler's Reichsguard, just as like a sweeper unit. Probably cut one Huntsman and then we can get like... Now we have a couple options here we can actually get. Although I'd like the Caribou Greatsorks to be in Franz's army right now. So we have that, and we can get him the Hellblaster Wagon. That'll be fine. All right, so even will be ready next turn to go, you know, plunder and help out over here. Probably take out the Blackstone Post. Um, so if we look at our objectives, yeah, so we pretty much are going to have all this soon. One, two, three, four. F oh, we have Black Crag because of the Dwarves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we only need two more. Wow, that's a, okay. That shouldn't be too bad. So Pimp Daddy Gelt is going to head south. These areas are relatively secure, it would seem. I mean, scaven corruption is a thing. We have a tap room coming. Which should be okay. Even will be here soon. Because we, we need to take out the Wood Elves anyway, so we'll bring our, our new lord to go deal with them. And uh, yeah, we do need scaven blight for our uh, ultimate victory. I could go to sea and get this. But I'm just going to go on land, because like honestly, money at this point is kind of a, a moot point. So Gelt's going to keep heading south, and Bubba's Big Blast. Dude's just talking about taking the place of the Chaos Gods, not suspicious at all. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a fair a fair point. That is a fair point. So Eben's good. Uh, Chaos needs to be crushed. Karate chopped by Volkmar, just overhand neck chop. Steven Seagal wrist break. Alright, so he leveled up too, which is cool. Volkmar has just been like our disappointment this whole campaign, so... Uh, until he gets his cart. What level do we get that? 16. Okay. So, this score is fine. Alright. Great. Volkmar the Grim. Volkmar, the patron of the tap room, is more like it. Old man turns out to be an agent of Zinch. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is that... Let's see. Okay. So, Volkmar is going to be, like, hanging out in this area. It seems like Nordland's, like, raiding Norska, which is pretty great. Up here, do we have any issues? Not really. The wizard leveled up. We'll get regrowth, which is going to be really useful. Spartacus will be the first to uh, know if chaos is coming. That's for sure. Help it here is, is actually has like a ton of infrastructure. So we'll get this. We have uh, exotic animal tamer is fine. And uh, in this filthy remains of an undercity, we shall get the church to Sigmar. Now Franz doesn't really care to go after these places, I don't think, because they're. Uh, we'll just kind of chill and help it for now until it like stabilizes. At least he's up north. No threats from this direction. No threats from here. As far as the south goes, the dwarves have literally karate chopped everyone. So literally, the only threats are like maybe like down here and then like Norska, I guess. Even might actually even go after Bretonia at this point. Depends on how much of a threat the rats are. Well, they would even take a peace treaty, they're so beat up. Alright, so here... We'll just take Untainted to help get rid of the uh, the rat the rat corruption. Actually, Fest Hog's probably better. And he'll be ready next turn, and let us go ahead and pass. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need to destroy Norska, to be frank. Like, because we've... We basically secured the Empire for the most part. We just have to get the last couple of Elector Counts. Uh, one of which will give us fealty here. The other ones, we can honestly just go capture them now, like if we want to. 
If Volkmar turned evil, he'd worship Slanesh. <sighs> Would he, though? I don't think so. Maybe? Yeah, definitely not Nurgle or Korn. Well, I don't know. Korn is, like, very zealous, though, and so is Volkmar. He's a very zealous, aggressive character, so he might be more of a Korn. Like, because there are, you know, stories in 40k and things like that of uh, military lines. Uh, oh. Who were they at war with? Sure, dude, why not? <laughs> the Grand Alliance. Let it form. Volkmar worships Kane because he keeps getting murdered in my game. I feel like I feel like Volkmar would go for Korn, actually. Like if, if it did come to it and he had to like follow some chaos. Cause like he's he's aggressive and zealous and like Alberic? Alright, that's fine, we can trade. That sounds good, dude. I don't know. Something to think about. So really, I mean, do we just Let's go take a look now and just cause we're almost to that point where like the north is secured. We might have to like bull rush a couple of our own provinces just to get them quicker. We'll probably actually. Now, what happens if you get all of the empire? Does it just get rid of the penalty for imperial authority because you have everything? It probably does. Uh, no thanks, dude. You are in our way and we were probably gonna have to capture your territories. Yeah, I don't know. Fealty of Averland. <laughs> we shall arrange a banquet for them. The okay, so this very uh, even von Kilbasa is here. He can go start off by taking out the Blackstone Fortress, probably. Although Bretonia, how are they doing with us? Oh, they're very friendly. But Lewin, I need that. <laughs> I need it. Now let's look at the victory conditions. So control all of the provinces of the empire either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Vassals and military allies. Okay, so if I become military allies with him, that's fine. So we actually have Kemri now too because we're military allies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, we just need one more. Skaven Blight will do it. We don't even have to go for the Oak of Ages anymore. Because that's eight for the campaign victory there. We'll just go. Let's actually be a little bit safer because getting caught in March Dance kind of sucks. Do not waste my Step to it. All right, doesn't look like there's any. I mean, there's a couple of Skaven under cities we can take out. What is this? The plague. Oh, there's a plague here. Lovely. What's up, Jacob? Yeah, Archeon hasn't showed up yet. He has not. Um, here, let's get some walls because trade resources are cool and everything, but I'm pretty well off right now. Even von Kilbasa. Um, what do we not have yet? So Averland is Kislev. We need to like be very, very cool pals with Kislev. Cause we don't have to own through through conquest. It's, I think military allies does the trick. They rejected the offer for now, which is fine. Carl Franz has taken help it. Electric Count Spartacus is up in this area, just helping stabilize everything. Let's upgrade this, and those are upgrading, which is great. So Kislev is redeveloping after being flattened by chaos. Volkmar the Grim here. Like, what do we even... I mean, we could have him just go pound Norska a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Archeon. You're saying Archeon should show up now. Yeah, so Volkmar would probably go north. I mean, Norska's army's here are pretty wimpy. So we'll send, uh, we'll send Volkmar up there. So Volkmar, Spart Italian Spartacus, and uh, Karl Franz will be the bastions here in the north, holding firm for Sigmar. Now this army needs needs a little something something here. The Temple of Luminarc is going to be pretty funny too in battle. Everything should be stabilizing too. The Untainted should be getting uh, brought down as well. Eben, Von Kilbasa will uh, march out. I guess we'll just ally with Bretonia. Trade agreement. Join war against Clan Scryer. Wait, their demands? Okay. <laughs> uh, counter offer? This plus a trade agreement? 
Yes? Okay, well, we'll be back for you later. Uh, builds. We already built the unique building at the moot. If you take a look over here, it's uh, it's all it's all set. Although the moot hasn't been upgraded in a while, we need to get house. Yeah. So we have the uh, the grand cauldron. Wurt bod here. We already have that here. Got a tap room. It's fine. Yeah. So basically, even von kill is gonna go take out the vampire counts here. It is for the best. Which will be nice. Just getting them out of the hills, getting that filthy vampire corruption out of here. Folkmar heads north to join the uh, the Northern Crusade. So one, two, three. So that's three armies, and we'll have two in the south. We have Eben, and then we have Balthazar Gelt, who's heads headed south. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not too concerned about chaos. Granted, I would like their sacks to show up already. Franz's army might be due for some upgrades. Like, I feel like he needs a little little something. I mean, the halberds are useful, but I want to get the caribou greatswords, at least one of them, which I do have. I'll throw some bare-chested flagellants at Chosen all day, dude. Yeah, so basically, we're going to own the eight provinces for victory. And then it just comes down to owning our, uh, owning our other electors, or getting them. Nordland will join us with the, due to their fealty being ten. But the other two, or three, or whatever it is, are going to be a little bit trickier. I mean, I don't feel like going to war with Bretonia. Yeah, I know it won't work well, obviously. It's just kind of a humorous humorous sight. Artillery will be very useful against Chaos Armies. Halberds are great, too. I probably should get more Halberds, to be frank. So, uh, could you guys answer me this in chat? For anyone who's played this campaign, I'm sure some of you guys have blazed through it. In terms of having my Elector Counts like under control... If Bretonia is a military ally, then that's fine, right? Like, I don't have to... That's a victory condition, correct? Yeah, let me know. Have you built the unique building in Uber's Reich? Yes, I have. The the uh, Vermintide garrison? Yeah, I, that was like in one of the, the very, very early episodes we did that. The Scourge of Aquitaine. What else have confederated? So Gelts, I mean, do we want to take these places? They're actually nice little provinces here, although it looks like there is a plague here. I could just go straight to Skaven Blight. But I feel like just uprooting the rats from their the rats' nest here is going to be good. Plus, I can just replenish along the way. No peace, just war. No peace, just war. Man, he's pissed. So Gelts is leveled up once again, which is great. His wizardry, Arcane Conduit, is going to be lovely for him. And his glorious bald warrior priest is also leveled up. Replenishment is all set. We have that. We just want them to be tanky, really. But Wild Eyed is fine. Susang, Leadership Aura Size. Eh, Alright, so Geld's done his job there. I don't think you can move anymore after that. Nope. Okay. Everything's going to code here. Quinellus here. Let's upgrade the tap room one more time. Even though we can't max it out, it doesn't really matter too much. Allies should be fine. Yeah, military allies are fine. Cool. So we'll just kind of uh, start, you know, buddying, buddying up to Bretonia. Um, now what are they, what, who are they at war with, yeah. Alright, let's just... How about this? I will not. How about... Military lines, yeah, that's gonna take a while, I guess. They're pretty weak, I'm not, I'm not sure why they wouldn't just take it. Gatehouse, growth... Double check the north to make sure everything's up to code here. Kislev! Ah, Kislev is finally leveled up. So you know what? We're we can't quite get the church yet, so we'll just kinda get walls for now. Spartacus and, and Karl Franz are just, you know, babysitting their for, uh, their fortresses up there. Folkmar the Grim's coming to help deal with chaos when they do rise. Boris von Gandalf is leveled up, our immortal death wizard who's been a true friend of ours this entire campaign. Oh, we'll get scouting. It's fine. Help it. Help it's kind of coming up in the realm, too. Oh, we got to take care of Even as well. Yeah, there's... What is this? Hostile Dwarf Army here? Carrick Ziflin Rebels. Oh, okay. That's fine. Can we get there with normal movement? No, we can't. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just march up there. I was like, Dwarves attacking us? What year is this? And we shall... Uh, 
Skaven assassins hanging out at our cities. We love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for uh, for Troy, actually. Like, I'm not. it probably won't get, you know, super long-term coverage since it's a Saga game, but if there, if it has, like, a fun campaign, like a short, quick campaign for, you know, myself to do with, like, Italian Spartacus and, like, a head-to-head -head format, that would be really fun. But again, yeah, the trailer wasn't, like, that exciting. Like, I watched the trailer and I was kind of like, meh, you know, like, it's not like a Warhammer trailer or, you know, anything else like that, but... You know, I'm going to give it a chance. Uh, we're on very hard. Yeah, the rune fangs are really good. As a matter of fact, thank you for reminding me about the rune fang. Um, I need to itemize my characters. I keep saying I'm going to do that, but... So war declared, the Barrow Legion. The Barrow Legion just declared war on everyone. Wow. Okay, well, that's smart. So our new lord is going to have his metal tested against uh, a, a foul necromancer. Durthu is at war with a couple people. I mean, does he even leave his rat's nest? Yeah, I don't need the diplomatic penalties for becoming his friend. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like Griven uh, Bor should have him out, but perhaps he does not. <laughs> Maximilian says, I would be pretty careful about a chaos invasion with uh, having an immortal death wizard. All right, so hell yeah, we're going to fight that because the AI is just going to charge. Hey, so tech, it's going really good, man. We're in our Carl Franz very hard campaign, and uh, we're pretty close to winning on turn 100, actually. it's We have most of the Empire. We have our eight secondary objectives just about done. I just need to get Skaven Blight. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do Legendary just to, you know... I mean, I feel like Legendary would be hard, but it's like, it's just about learning how to, you know, game the system, right? Crossbows at the ready! This is that, that trollish Bretonian army who's just been wandering the, the lands aimlessly. So I actually, like, run back here a little bit. Yeah. Knights of the Realm, Knights of the Realm, Mounted Yemen. You see, because the Lord's just going to fly in and get, like, mowed down here. You guys turning and shooting here. How much HP does he have? 199. Mordhau? I, I would actually be interested in that, but it might be a little bit hard in my hand. All right, finish him. Now we can switch targets here. Pull the spears up. He's got three HP left. Pretty good little cap charge, though, but the spearmen should be able to saturate that. Let's pull the crossbows back. What? He got away with three HP? Come on. Actually, it's okay if he gets away. It's fine. Let's move some spearmen here. Let's go ahead and do halts and uh, Knights of the Realm. Pull some spears back. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Let's finish him off in melee. That's fine. Spears are going to be great against the Yeoman here, obviously. How? how? Just one shank is all it's going to take. This guy has zero HP and somehow he's still alive. Must be some Bretonian witchcraft. Swordsman I'm chasing the Knights of the Realm with because I want to make sure they uh, don't get to charge me again. Send some guys up here. All right, fast forward. Oh, crossbows, come on. Oh, they're in melee mode, that's fine. Okay. Pull these guys back to defend. Knights of the Realm are going to be getting uh, some lovely spear action. Yes, yes, good, good. The Paladin's actually a bit of a pain in the butt, isn't he? These Yeomen might come back too. Uh, the Paladin here, let's send some Swordsmen in to fight him. Crossbows. I guess we just shoot the Paladin for now. Good cycle charging from the AI up there. He's charging back in. Crossbows reform ranks. Knights of the Realm broken and broken. This is just the most pitiful Bretonian Legion like armies. Did the Lord just get dropped by in melee with crossbows? Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, I've I've seen Elich on Twitch. I've never really watched him though. I'm sure he's good at campaign. I mean, but you know, yeah, campaign. It, it's it definitely takes some experience though to learn all the tips, like little tricks and nuances. I've learned so much like in this campaign. Just for my, my own failures. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the battle thing is, like, where you can really kind of uh, skill cap out. Uh, all right. Perfect. 
The battles, I got that under control. It's just the campaign tricks I need to learn. I mean, I still fail in battles, too. As a matter of fact, like, I failed at that siege battle because I didn't know you could destroy walls in campaign. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me to itemize here. All right, so Hawkland. Send a military. Oh, perfect. This will uh, put us in failty range. Okay, so let's send a force. Please just be an easy one. Uh, can we win this? Yeah, we can win this. I almost kind of want to let Norska just like... Hmm. You know what? No son of Sigmar shall fall. No son of Sigmar shall fall in my watch or stand alone this day. I can't do it. It's just, it's, 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 it's against my moral fiber. Yeah. I literally like need a notepad to remind me to do things like itemize my new characters. Cause there, I have so many items and like rune fangs and like things I can do. Hey, Sawyer Jones, what's up? What's cracking? What is crack a lacking? No, Volkmar will never live down his failure. So what do they have? Mammoths and trolls. Everything else is pretty manageable, honestly. It's just dealing with the mammoths and trolls. So thankfully they're coming at this gate, the same one I'm deploying at, so I don't have to like scurry across the city like a rat. Although the trolls are coming over there, but the mammoths are here, which is like what I really need to take out. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. So firstly, we need to send a halberd over here to uh, help out with this, this freaking onslaught and a swordsman. So this halberd and the swordsman will be in group one. They're going to be rushing over there. Um... Great Sword and Halberd and Warrior Priest will be at this gate. Actually, the Warrior Priest can go over here. He can help out. Or the, uh, the Arch Lecter. Yeah, that should be enough. Two. Then we'll have some Swordsmen in reserve on the ground here. And these Great Swords can be in between. Hand Gunners can be here for when the Mammoths break through the gates. Perfect. Everything's to code. The Norskan army is taking a bit of a pounding. But, you know, when their troops get up on the walls, it's going to be a little bit scary. You know, some great swords actually could go up on the walls depending on where they climb. Let's get some great swords up there. Get some swordsmen up there as well. Are right, the mammoths are going to be through soon? And the trolls are in, which is unfortunate, but you know we can't 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 stop them. We couldn't get there quick enough. Our halberd shield still should be able to crump those guys pretty good. So we have some great swords climbing the walls here. They can start cleaning up shop. Again, let's get the halberds braced, just like this. Get you guys behind, because we don't want them to take that mammoth charge. I do not fear death. Let's pull these swordsmen back. Just let the halberds kind of hold it. Yes, sir. Hey, gamer the gray, thank you for the ten, man. I can't, I can't let my bros go down. You know, like even if I, I'm gonna have to deal with them eventually, it's like it just feels wrong. Swordsmen on the wall fighting marauders. Not the best trade for me, but you know, marauders actually trade relatively well there. So let's get you guys going after these guys. So park over there, and then we'll engage in the back. Those mammoths still haven't broken down the gates yet. But the mammoths are a big reason why the balance of power is in the uh, computer's, you know, kind of uh, purview. There are some great swords here, too, which is helpful. So the trolls should fall here. Gamer the Grey, thank you so much, man. And still haven't gotten those gates down. Goodness gracious. All right, let's put them in guard mode to make sure they actually shoot. And the mammoth should be surging in here any moment. Whatever comes through those great gates, you will hold your ground. All right, so the halberds are like the perfect answer against feral mammoths. So just hold them in place while my hand gunners just pound them to dust. We don't want the great swords to get pulled in. Perfect. And over here, everything's looking good. This gate's like completely held. I mean, I guess there's some trolls coming in still. My great swords in the walls are doing really good. So we want to. Oh, is that mammoth shattered? Yeah, it is. Okay, we don't need to worry about it then. Finish it! Bring it down! Bring it down! Oh, you guys are talking about 40k. I actually think that they could make a really good 40k game in Total War. I think it'd be awesome. Alright, great. So, we've done pretty well for ourselves there. Let's get some great swords over here. Halberds can kind of hold behind our guns, just in case. Uh-oh, a bit of a surround coming in. Let's turn around and fight those spears. Get the Arch Lecter going there as well. The other great swords, we could actually probably come up behind the Norskins here and just, like, crump them. Let's get you guys right here. Let's get those hunters. I'm actually swarming this side a little bit. So yeah, we got to pull some troops to help out. Hand gunners, can you guys shoot at the walls? See if they can get draw a line of sight. 
Not really. Maybe shoot those guys a little bit. Yeah, we can get some shots over there on those guys on the wall. Great swords are able to catch up there, which is nice because this formation was getting a little bit ugly, actually. Yeah, bike. Well, bikes and yeah, I guess it depends in 40k what kind of bikes you're using. Like when I use bikes in my Black Legion, I use I don't use them in close quarters combat. They're all equipped with combi bolters and meltas, so they're really fast, kind of hard hitting units. But it, I don't think it would be hard at all, like for them to do that. Victory for Sigmar! We've held once again. I know it's a mountain. Those are some. Those are some sexy volleys into those those filthy mammoths. Every all the opponents of the Empire are filthy, of course. God, I really every time I go to Games Workshop, I get like a pang of sadness when I see that Age of Sigmar is on the shelves and it's not <laughs> and it's not the not the boys from the Empire. Granted, the Skaven stuff still looks the exact same, so if you're into that kind of thing. Ugh. But yeah, my Black Legion bikes I use occasionally. I uh, I use them as kind of anti-horde clearing because they have a ton of shots and they're really mobile. So you can sweep around the weak side of a formation in 40k with bikes and do a really good job. Yeah, I know I know Legend of Total War. I've, I've seen his streams. Yeah, he's he's quite good at campaign if uh, if memory serves. All right. So we got the trade. We got all the goodies coming up and up. Warhorse breeding. We're trying to get those supply wagons because that seems like it'd be quite useful. All right, so now let's look at the failty of our of our dudes here. So Averland's nine, Hawkland is ten, Nordland is ten. So I think they'll be offering failty next turn. I think it just takes like a turn to kind of kick in. Uh, work bad. Let's get the walls and the tap room upgraded. Anything we can do up in Kislev? The Kislev territories are are, are a violent, harsh place. Crow six eight nine one. Hey, thanks for making such great videos in Warhammer two. The best game ever, honestly. Yeah, it's an amazing game. Thank you, thank you, man, for the uh, donation. Franz is Franz is getting a little bit too comfy at Help It, but we're waiting for these buildings to finish. We're like, all right, Archeon, any second now, buddy. <laughs> any second. <laughs> Do we literally have to go take out the Norskins here and just like freaking wait for Archeon at a spawning location? All right, so military alliance with Kislev is fine. Who are the enemies with? Yeah, no one of no. Now, why would they? Why would they deny that? Oh, it's kind of interesting. Well. We already own what we need from them, so. You ask for a Trade agreement. No. I wish I could use my imperial imperial authority to uh Averland kinda likes me. We have so much of this, it's kind of redundant at this point. Let's just freaking let's pump up the jams. Pump up pump pump up the jams. <laughs> we just just spammed a ton of diplomacy with these guys, yeah. That's pretty good. All right, so we have a uh, Eben von Kilbasa, who's gonna go take out the business here. We have a dwarf rebellion. Actually, did a surprising amount of damage to us. So we might actually go back and heal real quick. We'll just heal for a turn and then uh, we'll come out. So for him, he has the pistol core, which is nice. Um, we'll get the Honest Steel to buff up our uh, our infantry as well, because we have a lot of great swords. And then we have to go take on the Vampires, which have a pretty haggard little force there, which is nice for us. Balthazar Geltz is uh, continuing his great quest in the south here. Vibali needs uh, some walls, preferably. Public order here isn't the best, but it's something. So let's head down here. What are you doing? <laughs> These Bertonians are, they're taking our lands. I want that too, because that's like the capital city. Well, it looks like he's raiding, so maybe he's not going to go for that. All right, so Castle Carcassonne here. Let's get that upgraded church going. Get that sweet Jesus prayers going on. And uh, Nuln as well. Upgrade the church. The Moot! Fort here. It's pretty troll not getting that freaking province all finalized all right looks good spartacus is in march dance let's change him out because you guys are right that is silly he can go to volksgrad so he can have better sight on the uh, the foul chaos lands i do have some quest battles to fight as well but i'm on turn 107 so tech yeah yeah we're we're getting there oh uh, my wife is polish yeah that's that's the inspiration for the uh for the kielbasa name there I mean, I guess I could go here, Franz. If I leave, help it. Let's go ahead and see. 
cor the corruption is really a big issue. So we'll keep him here for now until the uh, Church of Sigmar finishes. Dang old Bretonians hanging around, scaring the chillin'. <laughs> yeah, Volkmar, I forgot to move him, but he's heading up there as well. I mean, we have we have three powerful stacks waiting for chaos. Ah, items! Curse, curse the Baggins! Okay, hold on. I'm done. I'm done. Get too old. One second. Damn it, I don't even have a pen and pencil in here. I'm just typing a note so I don't forget. I'm just like too obsessed on getting through this quick and trying to get to the Chaos Invasion. Ah. Oh. All right. The Barrow Legion waiting for Eben to come karate chop him. Oh, is it three turns from when Archeon shows up? Well, it's going to be pretty epic. Archeon's going to be like, tremble mortals in despair. Chaos has come to your world. And then Karl Franz and Volkmar and all the boys are just going to be like, oh, no, dog, you ain't getting past this. You ain't getting past the. It's going to be great. I can just go to Volkskrad and just have like a choke point of the gods. Yeah. Travers? I don't know if he wants to do that. Yeah. Trade agreement with the dwarves? Yeah, sure, why not? Nobody likes... You guys don't like the elves. You want to trade. All is well. <laughs> That's a grudgeon! <laughs> Chaos should be the one trembling now. I mean, Archeon gets a lot of stacks, though, doesn't he? I guess I'll have to lightning strike them out. Because I do have lightning strike, so... Confederation with Hawkland. I mean, what do they have? Like one little freaking rat's nest up there? It's going to put me at like hardcore negative. <laughs> the quest battle. The quest battle is going to be so easy with these armies too. Yeah, I've seen Uridian's videos. They're hilarious. I don't know. Like, is this... I'd rather take Nordland. My Imperial Authority is pretty bad. I, and I have my note for the items at the top. I'm not going to forget. Oh, I mean, it's like it brings them in, but they're just like the penalties are going to start getting kind of annoying. Yeah, we're, we're just going to assert independence here. We'll just make them our military allies. It's fine. Because, like, the penalties get kind of annoying. It's like tax, public order, leadership in my armies. Like, screw that. We'll just we'll just buddy up to all these guys. We'll just make them all military allies. Welcome, my countrymen. I will. All right. Uh, so four stacks plus one war herd. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a party. Um, Volkskrad, so let's get walls here. Let's get you upgraded. Let's get the farms going. Help it, we can get the little eggs. Now, how is this going to be when I leave? Huh, okay. It's actually not bad. We can actually just turn off taxes too. And that'll make it, that'll make it fine. Come, Franz, unite! And banish this darkness! Volkmarsh is kind of like lagging behind a little bit. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. Spartacus is waiting. Go check. Oh, go check and Felix actually were with Hawkland. Damn, I could have actually had them. Oh well, that's all right. So this army is still healing a little bit from its last endeavor. Heinrich's gonna pay the troll toll though for sure. I mean they have a pretty decent little garrison there though. But all right, so Gelt's continuing. I am ready. Are you? Are they sieging the city? No, they're not. Okay. Why is this even close? All right. Oh, uh, tomorrow is the next ECL stream. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be uh, at 11, 11 or 11.30. I think it's 11. I can't remember what I confirmed. And I don't worry, guys. I remembered about the items. I'm just kind of going through all the basics first because we got to do it. Volkmar's feet were made for walking. 
Yeah, Felix Felix would be really good to actually have for the Chaos Invasion. No, you. I don't believe the Empire can, no. Like, it, there's no option for a regular Confederation with them. It's, like, based on those events. So at this point, I'm just going to make them uh, military allies or just, you know... Actually, did, was there even an option to be military allies there? I can't remember. Well, let's just go here. Three towers, though. Oof. Yeah, we'll go over here. This isn't as bad. The Empire endures. Warrior priest, go. Yeah, Skaven and Wood Elf garrisons are nasty, huh? Yeah, it would seem it, seem, it would seem they're at least resilient. Three and four. Let's put all our artillery here. We'll leave uh, some Knights of More back here to just clean up shop. Put the other ones in five, and the Demi's in six. Demigriff Knights, let's gamble. Hey, Sir Swags a lot. Thank you for the 100 NOK, -okay, man. This is tribute. <laughs> what for? <laughs> you paying, paying some... Oh! Balthazar and Vanguard? What? What planet is this? Alright, so the Hellstorms, we just want to shoot in against, you know, whatever the hell is in here. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, Gelt! <laughs> Gelt's getting popped! I guess we'll just shoot here. So Gelt can just kind of hang out for now. And... Damn, that's like some, like, big Pumba wall. Mortars can rain hell on them. Beware of nukes. Yes, that's right. We are playing these freaking trolls, aren't we? Oh, this game in. They emerge from the under cities. Well, the under city of the under city. Alright, well, so they're warp lightning us, which is fine. We'll climb the walls with you guys, we'll get you guys coming over here. Did I find no transmutation? Oh, did it just not go off? Alright, that's fine. Yeah. Get you guys going here. Huntsman and company can just shoot up on the walls here. No guilt! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it! Pull the dummies up as well. Oh, I think there was some sort of a... Alright, so the knights should be able to deal with that. Demis can just come up as well. I think there was a nuke back here, guys. It looks like maybe that or just a warp lightning or something. Alright. What are these up in the walls? Like monks? Yeah, we don't want to... If we can get the dummies actually on the gatehouse here, what are they defending the gatehouse with? Oh, freaking halberds, goddammit. Oh well. That is not gonna work. We get those guys in the gates. So Gelt can do a big, fat, juicy one down here. Oh, that's just a warlock engineer. Yeah, we should just save our winds of magic. More rat summons here, so let's get the dummies turning around here to deal with them. And the Hellstrom rocket battery, of course, being stupid, as usual. I think... Did we get nukes back there? I think we might have gotten nukes. Seems like the Skaven are up to no good. Huntsmen are shooting. Huntsmen are shooting. Gelt's just juking and laughing and cackling. I, I need to go back there and deal with those freaking artillery. Those things are just so obnoxious. Let's fly Gelt back there. All right, Demogriff Knights in Group 6, let's pull you guys over here and just get ready to sweep in wherever there's an opening. We're now shooting this fort wall here, so there's actually going to be a legit opening over there. Let's move our troops over there. And it looks like more rats have been summoned here in the back, so let's get our knights to go ride them down. Look at the AI just being so annoying with their little rats he summons. And this Hellstrom rocket battery will just set it here and just let it shoot whatever it wants, because who cares. All right, so we're in now. Get these guys piling in. Let's get the Warrior Priest in there as well. And we have our other opening here, which is great. Gelt is going back here. He can do a final transmutation on the Swarp Lightning Cannon. It's fine. And he can also bombard it as well. Because that thing has actually been doing a lot of damage to me. Shoot the Plague Monks. Let's get you guys surging across the walls here. Demogriff Knights can pile in. And we can try and get engagements with the Rat Ogres. And let's go ahead and do a bombardment. Stroke that Forbidden Rod. 
cool. So let's move the artillery over here. Um, let's actually just have you guys withdraw. Yeah, it's fine. Just so we don't lose the whole model. I always forget withdrawing's an option. All right, great. So Geltz has crumped those guys. Great, so they're done. Okay. Demis, are you guys in yet? You are. And you've been caught by some slingers. Let's go finish off the remainder of these halberds here. Huntsman, let's get him in position. Skaven garrisons are quite quite a quite a nuisance, to say the least. Okay. Gelt, how you doing, buddy? Great. You're doing an awesome job. Demis, Demi Griffin Knights, how you guys doing? They've broken off those. Let's pull the Demis back and just have them like hammer this formation here. Get in there, warrior priest. Gelt needs to get over here and break this actually. Did I just turn the sound off? Hold on, guys. I like hit some button that like. Yeah, I hit some button that kind of like seemed to kill the sound for me. Do you guys know what the hotkey is for that? If you do, please let me know. Let's get you guys all rotating down. Huntsman can, just, you know, hang out and shoot over the walls. All right, Demis will slam into the back of these guys. Hopefully we can break them. Actually, as a matter of fact, we should probably just pull this way. We want to we wanna isolate the uh, freaking Rat Ogres. Yeah, we can turn and fight them now. Transmutation Alight will be pretty good here. Uh, no, I'm not using the new beta update right now. These, these are, this is just the basic, the basic goodness. Shield of Faith. Yeah, if any of you guys know, let me please let me know what the hotkey is. I just like literally hit something by my shift key and control key that like muted the sound. If you guys if you guys know, that'd be very helpful. So that doesn't troll me for the rest of this episode. Looks like the rat summons are out of business here. Hellblaster can just come up shoot over here. Mortar can shoot over here if it can reach as well. Cool. We broke those guys up. That final transmutation should be the death thrust for the Skaven here. Fix that posture a little bit. Pop all the buffs. Karate chop the Skaven. And of course, they're like, you know, we're not going to make this fun or easy. So let's just turtle in the back of the city and make you grind through that too. I guess it is a lot of like elite troops, right? If you really think about it. Oh uh, yeah, it's, I, I just hit something and it literally turned off my sound. Oh, I think what it did is it, it muted my like combat sound. Huh. Yeah, I just checked the sound effects. I'll ch I'll check after this battle. Gelt is man, Gelt is a beast in siege battle, so he's really good. Control M. No. Oh, Control M. No. Z X C. -E, Alt. Huh. No, one of the Hellstorm rocket batteries I retreated off the battlefield. I withdrew them. Ah, thank you so much. The hero, Jens, coming in with the fix. It is Alt X. Oh. Yeah, I retreated. I re withdrew the other one because it was getting like nuked and freaking trolled. I think Gelt is the only metal sorcerer you can get in campaign, yeah? Because Empire doesn't have access to that in multiplayer either. No, it wasn't a game bug. Yeah, I, I hit the hotkey on accident when I was like trying to like pan through the camera or something. Let me check the green screen too. Like over the course of these long like streams, sometimes the uh... oh god, please don't crash my game. Please don't crash my game. Please don't crash my game. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Oh, I like sometimes if you minimize while it's loading, it like it just crashes. All right, so let's, uh... okay, I'll be done soon. All right, so we will just occupy it because we don't need to deal with public order drama. Nice, this is a nice little city here. We'll get a tap room, get this church up in here. Growth is still useful here, which is cool. Let us begin. Gelt's cashing up to Franz. He's been he's been getting his hands dirty. Now, is there any other spells we need? I mean, I pretty much have everything I need in the spell category. So we can get the. Uh... Brass lunged. Hold the line is decent, but he's usually flying around doing his thing. 
Yeah, we'll get the earthing. Jindobre! Yes! It's one of the few few phrases I know. So for you, we can actually just get the tatter souls, that'll be fine. And yeah, guys, we're pretty close to getting Skaven Blight, so. Honor before glory. Alright, so all the provinces here are coming into uh, their own. Yes, my lord. Eben is ready, so in the next episode, I think we're going to call call it for today. In the next episode, he's going to go take out Blackstone Fortress, or Blackstone Post, or whatever it's called. Um, I think it'll be good, because I don't want to start some big epic event right now. Does the When does Chaos invade, guys? Can any of you guys answer that in chat, like the exact turn? And it seems like this is going to stabilize here because the church is going to, you know, slowly cleanse that corruption. But yeah, let me know. So let's just kind of summarize things in terms of the, uh, we're doing short campaign. So we just need to get, yeah, these these places together. The Wasteland, what are we missing in the Wasteland? Oh, it's, yeah, it's Marienburg. Yeah, that's right. Trade agreement, military lines. Now, are we even able to get a military lines with our guys? It is good to see fellow sons of the empire this day. Military access. Can we not get? Are we not able to get that agreement with them? Or do we already have it? Am I just totally missing this? Military military allies. See, why can they not become our non-aggression, military access, and trade forecast? Justicar Ukras, thank you so much for the 20. Okay, let's do the items before we go. Yeah, that's good. So we'll just get it so I don't have to think about it next stream. So you have basic armor. You, let's give you the armor of fortune. We'll give you the white cloak of Ulrich. Potion of toughness is quite good. And uh, as far as your your dudes, income faction wide, let's take that. Helm of Discord is pretty good, but I'd hesitate to give you something so so powerful. We'll give him the Mace of Hellstrom. Physical resist is always useful. Stalberg's letter is actually useful because he's going to be fighting vampires here. And this guy we can make into a little bit of a tank. Empire Captains are pretty good. Helm of Discord will be good for him. Sword of Bloodshed. Uh, we'll give him some Missile Resistance, which is cool. And he can have Wound Recovery time. Great. Elector Vassals being below you or something might be an oversight. You need to Confederate? Okay, so you either have to Confederate or Terminate them, which is unfortunate. So... Um, Confederation will be offered again in the next 20 turns. Um, so we'll take Nordland when they offer again. Literally, like, Hawkland only has these two bases here. Like, that's it. So who do we, who are we missing? We're missing Hawkland. We're missing Nordland here. Kislev. Do we not have that? Yeah, Kislev, I guess. If they're, if Kislev becomes our military allies, I think that solves that. And Marius Lightdorf here, hmm. unfortunately he might have to pay the troll toll, because he literally has like like two bases as well, or three. So we may have to send some uh we may have to send some troops down here to secure these territories just to win the campaign. But as far as secondaries go, if we look, you can see we have uh Yeah, Sylvania here we'll have to get from those guys, which is fine, because they have the other part of that province. So we have control eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and, and then Skaven Blight's going to be the next one. Skaven Blight will be like our our last destination here. Balthazar Gelt is like sweeping around the coast and he's, com he's coming for those rats. So we're pretty close to winning. I, I, I think we just have to fight off Chaos. The Chaos Invasion is going to be the last thing that we really have to deal with. We should just lay an ambush dance here. Bring me to my men. Now Franz, is there anything we want to upgrade here? I think we can move Sigmar Sun somewhere else, and we can take the uh, the Caribou Great Swords because they're a really nice like frontline troop. Aside from that, his army is pretty damn good against Chaos. Volkmar. Volkmar's army is okay against Chaos. It has some AP, it has cannons and stuff. So now we can upgrade this lovely castle here, and uh, let's go ahead and save. I think we're good, guys. Wood Elves and Oak of Ages, I mean, we could easily just go take that, probably. Mr. Uh, Mr. Eben Von Kielbasa here will take out the Vampires. I don't think Blackstone Post, Post is one of the ones we need. And then we have to make sure that the Warhead of Chaos, where the hell are they? Oh, they're like lurking up there. We might have to go hunting. 
All right, guys, so let's save the campaign. Empire 108, we've made some good progress. Again, I think we're like 20, uh, within 20, 30 turns of, of defeating the campaign. So the next one might actually be the last. In my Mortal Empires campaign, their first wave on 63. So we faced the first wave already. <laughs> Hide in the shadows, I know. Because if you guys look, we could, we could actually like, what is our ambush? Like, do they have like some light brush over here? It's slowly, we're slowly curing the Chaos Corruption by being here. Yeah, ambush success chance 40%. I mean, I really actually just want to take these bases here and just like wait like at the bend for them. That would be so funny. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, Ethan Boxman, to be fair, last time we attacked the Wood Elves, it was Lawlorn Forest had an insane like garrison. Insane. It's like one of those big epic like, yeah. And I wouldn't underestimate them this time. I would come in and just like siege them out and force them into like battles that I like. So Karl Franz lurks. Let's save. The Empire is, uh, you know, we're growing. I'm just saving to make sure that I got everything. All right, guys, special thanks to everyone for joining today. I had a blast. You guys got to see Wookiee. I mean, things got wild on this stream. Uh, it was mostly cleanup, really, just kind of chasing down various, like, you know, rats and creatures and, and different uh, denizens of the Empire. But the next episode is going to be a pretty wild one. It's going to be the grand finale of our Empire campaign. Uh, I would imagine, like, I don't know. I might make it an extra long stream and just go deep and just try and finish it because we're so close. Um, Averheim here, yeah. We're probably going to have to take Averheim. And I mean, if I do, if I declare war on Elector Counts, would I lose one Imperial Authority? Yeah, that's fine. So, I mean, we'll probably declare war on these guys just to get them. And then the other two will, uh, who have 10 fail will be j coming into, you know, coming into their own here. If we can't get freaking Caron to be our buddies, you know, then, then we might have to go to battle with them too. I'm not sure. For the love of God, tax that dwarf old. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, it's a thousand extra gold. All right, now we'll save it. Official. Arcan, Arcan, well, I mean, what more does Arcan want? I mean, I have most of the Empire, right? The Imperial Authority thing, I mean, if I did a big timing strike, okay, so if Chaos doesn't come in a couple turns, I don't want to sit here with my three armies and just accomplish nothing when I could be like, you know, getting these territories. Kislev is, how are we doing with their relations with them? Oh, they accept that military alliance. Great. All right, so let's see if that works. So Kislev now is... Let's see if that actually works. Wasteland, Averland. So what region is this? Ostland. Okay, Ostland. And let's see if that works. So Ostland does come into our ours now. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So if we're military allies, it does do the trick. All right. Now you guys can sleep. Your empire looks overprepared. Arcan probably is going to be stopped in Kislev. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like 40k. You just forget they exist, so you don't tax them. Yeah, so Kislev's resecuring its territories, which is cool. Um, I mean, I'm going to have them helping me too, and their armies aren't bad. I mean, look. And they're military allies too, so I can call them to arms. The Electric Count shall be summoned to smite chaos. I want. I would play more turns, guys. I would go three hours, but Anna and I have somewhere to be, so. Uh, I can't do it today. So yeah, honestly, just the next couple episodes going to be uh, pulling these guys into uh, into the Empire. And Balthazar Gelt and uh, Eben von Kilbasa will clean up the south. And our Dwarven allies over there are doing great as well. So, All right, guys, that's it. I'm actually done now. I was having too much fun. It's a blast. ECL, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going in deep with four very, very solid competitors. So make sure to tune in for that. But aside from that, I just want to uh, thank a bunch of folks for uh, some very generous donations from Justigar Ukrist. Two days in a row, actually. Thank you, man, for the 20. Sir Swagalot with 100 NOK. Okay. Crow 6891. Gamer the Gray. Bubba's Big Blast coming in and just blasting business. Kevin Robinson. Tony Hill. Uh, Sang Heliot. Helitat with the uh, 50. Thank you so much, man. And uh, Josh Edwards. Ulf von Ulfsen. It's a pretty awesome name, for sure. And uh, then we also have a couple donations as well from Gerard, Christian, Christian, and uh, another donation coming from Mr. Houtziger for the 20. So, man, Tomatin, thank you so much. Sorry I missed that 22 minutes ago. I was just so busy wrapping things up, but uh, thank you so much, uh, Tomatin. Much appreciated, man. AKA Lars.
I will. I'm going to my homecoming. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. I don't know when this campaign will be next. Uh, maybe over the weekend. Tomorrow's ECL. So Sunday or Monday. I, I want to I just punch through this for the Empire. You know, Sigmar deserves it. So guys, thanks again for joining. You guys rock. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.